We're not streaming. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Huh? I'm, well, I'm, I'm getting streaming there. even though <laughs> there's no guarantee the game will start anytime soon. Well, the game should be start. Oh, wait. We're still waiting on while we're get back, right? No, I'm back. Oh, okay. I've got Twitch pulled up, and Twitch says you are not, in fact, streaming. Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. My Bit. live counter says otherwise. All right. Um. All right. Well, it's. Oh, well, I that guess is, time to get show me anything. started. There we go. So. Thanks for telling me Bountiful Games went live. I was already in their chat. So. Where is this other piece of shit that I follow? Why isn't he... Me? I haven't streamed in months. No, 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 no. The, uh, the king shit. Oh, Ross is playing Gardic Phone. Chilled Chaos is playing Among Us. Critical's playing Super Smash Bros. <sighs> Hunter's playing, playing Dungeons and Dardings. Pokemon is also Huts playing Gaming Dark. is playing SNKRX. Don't know what that is. Uh, SNK is a fighting game, but I don't know what the rest of what you said was. It's Timmy is currently streaming Apex. Is Critical Role live right now? When was the last time the Yogg... I'm trying to figure out when the last time the Yogg's cast haven't been streaming. I'm 90% sure their streams are just re... Are just them playing their videos on stream. Uh, thank you for the follow, Foregathers. Oh, that was you announcing that you were streaming. I should probably do the same. Oh, look, there, a week ago is the last time I posted that. <laughs> and Dargans with Vigan. Human respect. Well, I mean, if... Sean. <clears throat> So, Tink. last we left y'all off, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you all were taking a nappy poo after having fought some uh, cultists that were in your tracking path as to trying to find the camp or... Uh, location of the rest of the raiders that had just attacked Greenest. Greenrest, whatever the name of that damn place is. I think it's Greenest. Um, your night goes through uh, relatively on not, nothing exciting happens. You all uh, wake up and can continue uh, tracking to where you... Uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Towards where the the raiders and uh, cultists have been, just tracking them, just their path doesn't take much to find them. Um, you see a a plateau kind of in the in the distance, and there's still some. Uh, you, you just see, you know, signs of cultists having been headed that way. Uh. Should we pull the map up again? There's no map. Oh, I thought this was the uh, the raiders camp that we were dealing with last time. Uh, I mean, you were dealing with some like uh, essentially like people who were guarding the path to where their camp was, mm. but not really a camp. <clears throat> So it's it's not that far away. You still, as you uh, you all approach, you see um, that it appears as though uh, this plateau has an opening on the inside, and it's kind of hollow in the center. You see, as you approach, you see a twenty foot tall uh, watchtower. And uh, there's some some men in it. Uh, at, towards the bottom of it, there's some some kobold, and uh, 
there are still some of the slower cultists and raiders just walking in to camp. No one seems to be stopping them or anything. They're just walking in. Uh, and I'll let y'all take it from here. All right. I no one will... says a thing. Kind I said eight them together and eat a ration. Yep. I'm, according to my character sheet, perfectly fine, so I will not eat a ration. I spawn garlic bread and eat it. Are we Shit. Good? I Sorry. love the start of any session because none of us, like, uh, is all of us trying to get back into character from two weeks ago? Oh no, I'm just looking up a bunch of Italian stuff. Um, um This so, was a long rest, right? Yes. Yes, you all had a long rest. This so wait, is, is it, the, what, the is it nighttime day. now? Or, oh, no, I thought... it's the next day. Okay. So this is a watchtower looking into the camp? Uh, well, yeah, so what you're seeing is it's like a, a plateau and there's kind of like a hollow that goes in. So think of like a big, like a mountain that had its top cut off. You know what a plateau is. Um, it's got some, some boulders around, some shrubbery. There's a little bit of like wooded areas near it. Um... But it's, yeah, it's just a, it's just a, a tall, you know, like a plateau with a, a watchtower and some, some guards sitting out front. Uh, and it kind of opens up to the inside and it's just kind of like a horseshoe shape almost. If, if you were to like equate the shape of the entire plateau to something. So the inside though is kind of like hollowed out. Okay. And that's where you see the the couple of cultists that you see currently going in. Interesting. Um, so we need to make... Our, we're making our way inside that place. Correct? Somehow, yes. I mean, I guess... Is, I mean, there's no... Like, the Watchtower obviously is doing its job in watching... Like, how far away are we? I mean, we're obviously not um, being seen by you're it at this point. A couple hundred feet away. Um, you all were in uh, in like a like a wooded area, so you're not readily visible from where you are. Okay. I mean, I guess there's no. It does. It doesn't look like there's a way to get into the area without being without doing something about the watchtower, right? So, uh, go ahead and I guess everyone give me a perception check. All right. So, yeah. Um, you notice that, uh, the bandits and mercenaries and cultists, uh, that are just kind of walking in no one's in uniform um the guards don't seem to be stopping anyone uh they all kind of seem like in a really jolly but also really tired mood probably from their successful raid no one seems to never it seems kind of lax right now there's not a lot going on nobody seems to be stopping anyone walking in so um I mean, are these cultists or just the random raiders? And it's it's a mix. There's kobolds. You see, um, you know, cultists, uh, mercenaries. It's just kind of like a mix mash. Nobody's in uniform. Uh, it doesn't appear as though uh, it looks like anyone's actually like really dressed up, other than a few people, like maybe a guard or two has robes on, but otherwise nobody's in uniform. So you're saying it's... it seems easier to slip in. I mean... It, That's what it sounds like to me. Um, my question... Yeah. I, I'm wondering if they'll even, like, 
we don't look like we would be able to just waltz right in, right? I'm assuming they, like... They Your have... 20 perception check tells you it kind of looks like that. That yeah. you could or you couldn't? You could. Okay. It does not look particularly difficult. It looks like no one is being stopped or asked for passwords or checked as they're walking in. Everyone is just walking in. No one's in uniform. It, you know, there are cell swords, mercenaries, raiders, cultists, and kobolds. Like it's kind of like a mix mat, a, a miss, just a bunch of different like people just walking in. Quick question: I've forgotten between sessions. What is it we're looking, or what is it we're looking to do here? You, uh, so the. Uh, Governor of Greenest sent you all sent you all here to find out exactly why Greenest was raided, and on your way out, uh, a disheveled boy asked you to try to find his his master Leavesen, who was a monk who had been to be captured by the cultist. Okay, the raid. so we have find information and find the monk Leavesen. Yeah. And also potentially murder, but maybe not. I mean, how? I mean, can we see into the camp? Is there like a an estimate uh, of how many people there from, are here? From where you can see, so uh, you see the guard tower and some kobold kind of like scurrying around the the guard tower. They look like they're keeping watch, but they're kobold. It's you know. Uh, you see some near the Just... entrance. You see some really like poorly put together huts and uh they're just kind of it just seems to be a bunch of kobold near the entrance in these huts you don't I'm see just, much else from where you're at i'm just wondering because if if we start a fight i highly doubt that we'll be able to get anywhere without the entire camp coming after or coming after us almost definitely and not. if we and if we can sneak in and sneak out as, or at least sneak in as much as we can. That's not going to work out all too well. Well, I mean, they just said... I mean, they don't look like they're checking anybody. It, I wouldn't put it past them to just let us walk right into the camp. I mean, if we can they pass ourselves off as cell swords. Fucking yeah, I think Eiffel 65 in, but yeah, I think fucking... you're going to be a... I mean, we could try and pass ourselves off as cell swords and try and get in that way. I'm just trying to avoid getting into a fight I know we can't make our, or make out of. Hello. Hello. Yeah. No. Oh. I'm just it, there was so much silence. Your... Yeah, there was. I I just, I was just waiting for someone else to pop in. Um. I saw a message in my in my chat and I was expecting it to say or to be someone like did anyone else's internet go down so um <clears throat> yeah I, I mean yeah I, I don't think it's the best idea to try and pick a fight with an entire camp you see that right there that's just a lack of motivation your garlic bread can't heal everything I ought to beat you to death for that. How dare you talk shit about garlic bread? I admit it's some pretty good garlic bread, but it at most heals... What does it actually heal? <laughs> 1d4 plus 4. It might heal, like, a sprained ankle and... Or a few cuts, but I don't think it can bring us back right. from the brink. So what's what's the plan? I'm all... convinced that we can try and walk, like just pass ourselves off as cell swords and get try, get into the camp that way without having to try and take out every person we see along the way. We I could also it. now hear me out. We could also try to pawn some of the or take some of the clothes off of the folks we just whatever we did to them and try and use those as a disguise so that way I mean, you know there's not really much of a disguise when none of them are wearing anything specific 
Like, if, I mean, at that point, we might as well just put on regular clothes and walk in. But if we can pass ourselves off as, like, prepare, like, prepared cell swords or something, maybe we can get some information if people think we're worth talking to. Yeah. I mean, nobody's going to want to talk to some random ass grunts that just walk into town. I mean, that shiny armor right there. To fucking. I don't want to sing my own praises, but I feel like we look like a bunch of. or we look like a, a hearty bunch. You're blue. Are you all having I'm this also... conversation in character? I am. Okay. I'm just curious why sure the either. the Italian knight is throwing out your blue. <laughs> dub D dub die. Anyway. Uh, uh, your uh, blue. I'm also eight feet fucking tall. Okay, we get it, Mr. Rifle sixty five. Well, so I think maybe one of us should be able to sneak in and if the coast is clear, we could try to get others in. We know they're allowing people in cobalt's in. We haven't seen a, a, a fur bog, but it's not out of the realm of possibility that they would. I, I mean, them. I do have the of ability. the of the people you saw walk in. There was uh, no fur bogs, but it was a, uh, like it was a bunch of different races. It's not like it was all human. Okay, There's were there that. any like shorter folk that weren't specifically just kobolds? Yeah, there were, there were halflings and whatnot as well, yeah. Okay. How long does Disguise yeah, I mean, Self last? Magic looks good. Uh, disguise Self? I don't actually know. Give me a second. Yeah, I can pull it up there. Disguise Self lasts one hour. That should be enough time. I mean, should be. if we were able... I mean, we might have to rush a little bit if we're going to try and find the kids or the kids master one of us might have to or we might have to split up at some point i'm not entirely sure i mean you go ahead and cast disguise self i also have a disguise kit if we need to make it look any better um what are like i'm assuming that's mostly humans and kobolds Humans, kobolds, halflings probably well the, it's like I said, it, it is mostly humans but there are a a bunch of different races there as well. Do, uh, I, think, uh, do I think, or would I mean? I don't want to give me risk... an insight check. Me? Yeah. I guess I don't know what else to to have you roll there. Uh. Yeah it it really doesn't look like they care. Okay. Just yeah, wondering, still I was say just thinking if probably eight foot, be a yeah. good idea for uh, I mean, me if, and the Paladin to wear some kind of disguise, because I, can, I don't think they'd be very welcoming of holy knights. I've okay. got a disguise kit, so I can take care of that. I mean, I can cast Furbolg Magic at, or just as a precaution. If uh, if need be and we run out of time, I can always just hide around a, or hide somewhere and... Uh, and Spell the magic and just see what happens. If need be, we can try and book it out. So I'll go ahead and use the. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just we need to get in there. You you cast uh, you go cast Furball, uh, disguise yourself, and I'll help disguise Pane, and and then we can we can do what we need. Well, what to I do. was saying was, if there was like a cloak or something I could borrow, I can just use that because I can't exactly. Uh... We got rid of the cloak we had, so I mean, wait, what are the? Let me see something because I'm carrying something here, and I need to see what this is. Well, I mean, I'm gonna wait until we start heading out to cast the magic, but just in case, or just in case we forget to mention it, I am going. Oh wait, we did do a long rest, right? So I get, yep. my, yes. I, I get my keys. I get so my points back. I just. I have a costume as part of my character's kit it doesn't say exactly what the costume is i guess i probably should have picked that before this started <laughs> but being that i am a terrible 
terrible stand-up comedian. It is not outside the realm of possibility that I carry a cloak that I could quickly throw over myself to flee a town. Um... I guess that'll work. I... I do apologize for this. It's, uh, it's, uh... It is a bit of a hassle that I... No, so I'll give you, I'll give you the, uh, the cloak that I would use to flee town. Okay. I'm now wearing a cloak. Uh, if no, you look that... carefully, you can still kind of see my helmet. It does leave not... me at a slight issue, as I'm the only one not wearing adventuring gear, and I'm still wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> I mean, you you have the disguise kit, don't you? Oh yeah, well the disguise kit's just makeup. I was about to say, I feel like that would only work on one person at a time. Who else was using it? I can change my physical appearance. No one else is using it yet. And also, I'm not taking the helmet. <clears throat> Take the cloak. I'll walk in with the. Uh... I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just go. Also, uh, wait, who here is the best at uh, bullshitting? Either me or Tink. Yeah. If no anybody idea. stops us, you two, or one of you two should probably be the one to speak for us. Okay. I don't think I'm the best at ad libbing this sort of <clears throat> thing. Well, we'll so you all are going to start yeah. making your way to towards the uh, entrance to the thing, yeah. Okay. Head on in. I, I cast the furlong oh. magic and turn myself into just a sort of a gruff-looking human. Okay. I'm going to go so. ahead and try and wrap the cloak around me so as to hide my face as, or my helmet as well as possible. So, okay. are we agreeing we're passing ourselves off as cell swords, or... Yep, that's yeah, okay. what we're gonna do. I mean, we're not cultists. Alright, then. Okay. Well, I'm a cell so, mace, but yes. As you God all... Uh... <laughs> as you all make your way towards the uh, the entrance, uh, you get a little bit closer, and you can start to see the, the inside. Uh, you notice that it the inside, it kind of starts to go up. Um, about, I don't know, like maybe three or 400 feet into the, now that you're like in the, like looking into the mouth of this opening, you can see that about, it looks like about 300 feet. It starts to, to incline up. You notice a second watchtower on top of the plateau, um, on like a smaller level, not quite the top. But like, there's another shelf that comes out, and it's up there. Same same type of watchtower, um, <clears throat> but it's up like in the middle to the back. You see a lot more huts. There's boulders along the side. Uh, as the huts um, like get deeper in, you can tell that they're made of sturdier stuff. Um, and that you see, you know, you see humans, or not humans, but humanoids, uh, people, uh, appear to be living in and around them. Um, you notice at the peak of this hill, not on top of the plateau, but at the the very back, kind of just under this this guard, that second watchtower, is a much larger, much nicer hut. Uh, kind of by itself in the back. Um, and there are, if you look along the sides of the cave, it, I mean the sides of the, the plateau, it's littered with caves. They don't seem to have any activity in them. Um, and there's boulders and kind of like shrubbery, uh, just kind of all over the place. Um, it doesn't look particularly... Uh, like strategically, it looks kind of laid out well, like where the the ha the huts and stuff are. But it doesn't look like they put much, re like much real thought into the layout. Like there's no roads or anything. They're just kind of clusters of these huts around. Um, is there anything that may look like holding cells or like a 
prison. Or are we walk? Are we in the camp at this point? Uh, I would say by at this point you're you're getting you're. I'm just describing it as you're walking in. So okay. we'll say you're seeing all this as you're walking in, uh, and we'll get to that specifically. I just want you to have a good idea of what you're looking at. Um. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. From where you are, you don't you don't see any. It does. You don't see anything that looks like there are prisoners or anything uh, as you're walking in. You said there was a cave. Um, there are lots oh, of okay. caves, but there doesn't appear to be any. Like there's no guard sitting in front of them. There's no okay. like people coming in out of them. There's a few in the back that have. Like near the uh, near the hut in the back, there is the big um, one that looks like it may be important. Yeah, uh, but other than that one, it doesn't like. There's just you know, not much there. Um, okay. As you all walk in, I need everyone to make a charisma check. Oh boy. No, oh, that's that's not a save, right? Just oh, that was a save. My bad. My bad. I pressed the wrong thing. No. No. I, I got oh, a, you're I, right, you're right. Saves have your, have uh, modifier, yeah. different modifiers. Well, okay. that was even oh, worse. No. Yeah, yours was the same, it didn't matter. Um Is that everyone? No, yep. not yet. No, Kess. No. Yeah. Come on, Quesadilla. Ooh. Damn. Oh boy. yikes. Oh boy. <laughs> Two good and two, one bad and one also very bad. Yep. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> you all kind of, kind of walk in, um, Ulrich under the, the stress of trying to be more human, uh, no, I, like. I'm not used to walking at less than eight feet. Th or eight foot right. three. Right, like I'm you're like, like yeah. So you're trying to like weird. walk yourself, but you are like you're trying to move your feet in little steps. So you just kind of look funny as you're walking in. Yeah. You're getting some looks, but at no one seems to be paying any of you any extra attention. Um, there's a bunch of weirdos in this camp. One more is not gonna throw them off. Yeah, they're just like, you know, and and honestly, at at where you're walking past, it's. It's mostly kobolds, and they're just kind of like scurrying around, eating at scraps and stuff, and like pass a couple of them, and they just kind of start fighting each other over some food, and uh, yeah. So you're you're in, you're in the camp. Hey, um, hear me out. Hear me out. Pane Farel looks like he's walking in with staying alive by the Bee Gees in the background. <laughs> Okay. So you just kind of strutting in. Some guy it. playing music in the background just so happens yeah. to create something that sounds like staying alive. All right. So you all are where you are now. You're at the the entrance of the camp. Like I said, you pretty much surrounded by kobolds. There's some people around, uh, essentially there to um, make sure the kobolds don't do anything stupid more than they will. Um, and they, they look kind of irritated to be there, but they're also excited because of, you know, they, they just seem also a little happy, but also really pissed off that they're, they have essentially kobold duty. Uh, but that's where you are now. Um, what would you like to do? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Mm. I mean, what's the priority here? Getting the information or getting the guy? I'm going to roll perception to see who the most important looking person I, within eyesight is. Um, you see... Uh, <clears throat> Come on, Wigan, show your ad-lib skills. You... No, I'm just I'm trying to decide what's within his eyesight. Uh, you guys are here, then. I mean, within eyesight. 
Oh, uh, yeah, you have a physical version of this, don't you? Yeah, I can see this map. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, well, given how my, uh, my Bakerid flame can reach up to uh, 60 feet. Is it Guiding Bolt I'm thinking of? It is. Guiding Bolt can reach up to 120 feet. I'd assume yeah. I can see a little bit farther than that. I mean, you can see, in general, people can see very far unless they have, like, issues with eyesight. Um, if you're just looking to, to see someone important, uh, you, like, with I guess within, like, near you, the the guards at the the guard post seem to be the only people that ha seem to be carrying themselves with any uh like real authority within your like within your radius but you can tell that like if if you're looking you can see that like as the cuz it kind of like it's shallow or low where you are now but it's like a a slow incline as you're going forward like a, a hill and as you go up, the huts look nicer. They're more well built, and there's more people up there. Um, so, but where you are now, it's just kind of like grunts doing grunt work, and then the guards. There doesn't appear to be any one of much importance here. I'm gonna turn to the paladin. All right, so we can either go towards the nicer houses and try and uh, figure out shit around there, or we can uh, try and talk to the guards and see if they can give us info. Up to you guys. Hmm. Again, I, I'm wondering what the prior or which one of the mission <clears throat> objectives we're taking priority. Well, uh, I'm thinking what we. <sighs> I know it's not our top priority, but we did say we were going to look for that guy, and and I'm just trying to figure out if we, we could ask if where they're keeping prisoners at, but that might be mm. more than a little suspicious. I also feel like saving a life is slightly more important than figuring out why a bunch of idiots decided to attack a town. Okay, but hear me out on this. Once we save that prisoner... Our time left in here, before they catch on to us, <clears throat> will be vastly shorter. Well, we're working hmm. on limited time anyway. But, uh, I... Let me <clears throat> set up, gang. Say, okay, hear me out. <laughs> Say, <clears throat> for example, we have about an hour before they catch on to us. You rescue that prisoner, that time will probably be about 10 minutes. Because someone will check on that prisoner and they're going to be like... <laughs> Uh, Pane and Kess, you guys should look for the prisoners. Ulrich and I will look for clues and set a trap. Um, no. Uh, uh, if you guys want to look for the prisoners, then we can we can try to 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 see if we can if there's anyone we can club and drag back to the to the settlement so that we can get some more information out of them. Yeah, I mean either way. Our time is going to be up. We're going to have to pretty much book it out as soon as we complete I or do either of these things. So That's I guess it's best I to, I guess it's best to try and do them both at the same time if we can. Yeah, because I don't know if we, I don't know if we're going to be able to do them both with the limited time we have. Like hey, that only lasts for. Hear me out on this. Maybe we should switch jobs. Me and the paladin go to look to club some idiot, and you two look for the prison. That's fine. I mean, that's all good with me. Because I don't know about you two, but I feel like. Us two are more fit for battle. I, I look down at my at my homemade bracelet that I made while you all were resting. It says WWQD, and I think to myself, what would Kess do? Do I still hit, like, a truck even though I've transformed into you're, a Yes, you're still you're, you're, you. Your stats are still you. You're just shorter. Okay, you so... just appear shorter. Yeah, no, you're still I can't you. wait you to see some look, look, a look on somebody's right. face when my magic runs out and I just turn into an eight-foot beast in front of them. <laughs> No, even funnier, when some five-foot tall guy accidentally hits his head on the fucking door frame because it's six foot, 
And they're like, wait, <laughs> what? All right, the so we're gonna split up. We're gonna we're gonna go look for the prisoner, and you guys are gonna go look for someone to club and take back. That was the two things we were looking for here, right? Yes. Yeah. Something like that. Information and the the monk. We don't necessarily have to club them and take them back, but we need to get whatever information we can. So make it somebody that looks like they actually know something. We've we're zero for two on that front, I think. All right, I think we I think we need to, we need to we need to get a team name for ourselves so we can we can put our hands in the middle and 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 shout our name. Doing it in the middle of a crowded area probably wouldn't be a good idea. All right. What's up, No Cyrus? We'll workshop that. How you doing, man? We'll workshop mm. that. Can y'all hear me? No, right? Oh, no, we're you. definitely going to workshop. Can we? Yes, we can hear you. I thought I muted myself. Oh, I must have that turned off. Okay. All right, so you All guys right. are going to go split up. We're going to go do our thing. All right, you guys want to go first, or do you want us to... Because let's make this easy on Wigan. Quick, everyone talk over each other to tell them what we're doing. I'm just uh, gonna chat over. says your team name is Eggnogs, by the way. I'm totally good with it. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I'd right. like to bring up one quick point of concern yep. that we're traveling with the champion of Greenus. The champion I don't is look currently like disguised, actually. I do That's not look like this. One hour. All right. And we also, I highly, de I mean, is this, would this have been the camp that, uh, what's his name went back to? Or, or? We don't know that. Yeah, but a lot of kobolds are with him. Like, I mean, I'm, I mean that's all, that's like he saying he's nervous because he let some kobolds live. And I mean, he kobolds. I I I mean, that's like saying. Regardless, it wouldn't really matter because the two people that they have seen are currently disguised right now. All right. Because sure, the only so. two people they really saw were Hunter and I. Yeah, and, sure. and uh, Pane has a cloak on, and Hunter does not look like him for another 50-something minutes. Okay. All right. That's why I'm saying we were operating right. on a limited time. Uh, we're playing so... in real time, and as we talk, the counter's ticking down. Right. So I just like to imagine the guards are like, what the fuck are they doing? Those four weird guys just talking? <laughs> Anyways, let's go. We're going to go ahead and you want to talk to the guard or go up to the rich house? Kiss. Paladin. I think I think he was being called away for a minute. Okay. So I guess we'll uh we'll try and figure out our prisoner situation. Um, I mean, the first thing we have to do, I guess, is try and figure out where they're keeping people. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to gather that information. Man, some guy in Wiggins chat was like, Hey, kill the cleric. I don't like him. Little I mean, do they know that that was actually uh, me. I would say we could try and act like one of us is a, a captive and we could to throw him in the prison, but I don't think that would work. Actually, it might. I got it up. I mean, would they really believe that one person was carrying back a prisoner? I mean, I feel like that would be... We're going to find out. Come on, let's do it. Who's the prisoner I mean, in be... this scenario? I have the higher charisma, so I'm thinking I would not be the prisoner and I would be able to convince them. I mean, better. yeah, okay, I'll act like the prisoner then, I guess. Let's do get help. No, uh, I hate is it help, like... I always end up throwing me. What do we have any rope or something that or I mean yes. I, that I mean I haven't used to act like my hands rope. are tied up with? Yeah, I got a, I have rope that I can hack so, a piece I mean, off of and use. Let's do that out of eyesight. And no, no, yeah, for sure. So we're going right. to act like I'm the prison or I'm a prisoner, and we're going to ask guards or somebody where they would take me. Yep. All right, Wiggles. We have I have bound uh, Ulrich's hands, and we are looking for. An important looking guard to try and convince that I have brought a prisoner back. I just like to imagine that the guards just watched you randomly tie a dude's hands we together. We said we were doing this out of sight. 
Okay, so I'm going to need. Uh, I mean, I don't really have to do much. Stealth checks from both of you. Okay, stealth check. Thirteen. Sixteen. Um. Sure. I was about to go <laughs> oh, no. You all find some. <laughs> you think some you're hidden. To, uh, I was about to, to say that should pass <laughs> most strawberry. I love. I love whenever a DM goes like, "You think you're hidden." <laughs> yeah, you, you uh, don't know, but you think you so, are. So, <clears throat> you all, um, yeah, you go. You find some like, you you kind of look around and think no one's looking. <laughs> uh, you sneak off behind some some shrubs that are kind of off in between two clusters of huts of kobolds and you bind Ulrich up and march him out from behind the right this is just me and Ulrich doing this Uh, and Kess are doing their thing okay so uh we'll deal with you two for right now um so you're going to be uh marching him up towards the people. That's so, right. As it stands now, you're literally in a <laughs> in a horde of kobold. Essentially, there are not many. You know, people. Yeah, we're gonna walk towards people that look like they actually know what they're doing. Um, which is not us. Yeah. No. So yeah. Um, he has a point. You're yeah. So you're. You know, marching him up, and uh, <clears throat> you you get closer to the the finer huts where there are people. Um, nobody really seems uh, at this point to look important, but they're they're all people. They're more important than kobolds. So, so I'll just I'll ask one of them. Ah, so I got this one. He was putting up a fight against me and my crew. He took out the other ones that I was with, but we managed to get him and bring him back. Oh, yeah. Are we keeping these guys anywhere? He kind of looks you up and down. I forget. What does then... what does he look like? Is he still wearing a tux? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so he, he, he looks you up and down and like looks at the other guy and he's like, He's like, I've made myself like. You must have got the yeah. drop on him. <laughs> uh, no, well, like but, I said, we were. Wait, I how tall is Kess? Oh, uh, not there Kess. Were, uh... There were three of us, and um, he took out the other two, but they had managed to weaken him enough from for the finishing blow. I just I used a little spell to put him to sleep, and then I marched him over here when he woke up. How tall is Herbal? Uh, roughly humanish height. Yeah, so probably like. Five, over ten, five. Six, one, five like two that. to six six. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Probably. Hang on. Let me. I'll tell you exactly how. I'm just wondering old because is. I'm trying to figure Anyways, out what my tra- so... like what my transformation would look like. Yeah. Uh, well, Jesus you said a, a gruff human. I'm. A, I'm a. Assuming I just. I just meant like an angry capable. looking guy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Exactly. Like you. You look capable. That was the okay. point. You're trying to pass yourself off. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah. I got it. Um, yeah. Uh, according to what I doesn't. did, I am no. Actually, according to what I just googled, I am about six foot seven. What the fuck? For, for Are you purposes, not a human? I am a human. Humans can be up to six foot six in D and D. Then why are you six okay. foot seven? Because I needed to Google the real life person who I'm basing my character off of. Oh. And it's not this one's not Jerry Seinfeld. So Jerry. we'll we'll go no we'll go easy and we'll say I'm six three. <laughs> okay. Then yeah okay so you you look is it Brad capable, Garrett? I it's guess. Not. So I just imagine you looking like that icon that you have. So you just and I like was short... until I thought of more character development. So. Okay. So fine. Um, I look like my so character. He, he looks he looks you up and down. Still, you don't look the the tough fighting type. You're kind of pudgy in places and yeah, you got that um, right. So he uh, he's like, well, he and he looks at the at your at your prisoner. And he goes, well, at least he looks like he can shovel shit. 
Um, we, we keep him over there, and he kind of points to um, to the the south, and you see a, a little another crop of tents and a little alcove right behind that. Um, it kind of slopes down again, and there's you see uh, prisoners being held uh, down in that area. Okay, so uh, can I? Uh, I don't know. I guess it would be wisdom. I'm trying. I can't remember the name of the guy. Actually, I did write it down. I took notes. Hold up, somewhere. I have not I written a single thing down. I probably should have. I don't write notes usually. I had, I had notes, and they're gone. Oh well, because I'm trying to remember the name of the guy that we were looking for. Yeah. So the he's like, <clears throat> yeah, go go get him checked in down there, and then we'll get him put to work. All right. Let's go. I stare at them disdainfully like I would want to be anywhere but here, which is most likely the case. All right. So. I'm marching off towards the tents, yeah. Yep. Uh, And. I mean, we're looking for a monk, right? They're fairly. Move to. um, A halfling monk at that. Halfling. Oh, so a short guy. Yeah, little dude. Anyway, so. uh, We'll let y'all. Actually, you know, we'll we'll finish this and get you monks on all that. sides of the spectrum. Eight foot, three foot. Yep. So, um, you march down there, and you as as you're walking by some some cell swords and a bandit. Just you know, people because you can't quite tell who's who. Uh, you can't tell who's a cultist and who's a cell sword, but. Some of the people are just kind of like yeah. mocking you as a prisoner as you're walking by and like hooting about like, oh, we got another one and just kind of like berating you and cheering you on Tink or not Tink, what fucking herbal as you're as you're marching this prisoner like they're like, you know, they're they're boasting you up and just shitting all over you. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to like pretend I'm struggling I'm against the ropes and that he's holding me back. Yep. Make really yeah. like bring or like telling it. Um, so, lifting. Or give me making... a performance check. Oh god damn. Can I can I give him the help action? Uh yeah, because you're gonna be like okay, fighting. So with I get him advantage. And along. You Thank get god. yeah, you get advantage. Uh, or should I also roll a performance? Uh yeah, I'll just have you both roll it, and I'll decide what it means. That's a twenty-four. Okay, so um, An average performance. You are like you start to like struggle and like you're like your arms are just kind of limp and you're like uh and and herbal like like, takes your arms and like he's maneuvering your arms as though like you were pushing back at him he's basically doing all the work like you're just (laughs) standing still and he's just like like fighting himself while holding your arms and he just he kicks you in the back of the leg and you you fall, like he kicks you in the back of the knee and you fall to one knee and he kind of like he's like I, get I, up I, you I bitch. whisper an apology under my breath and uh yeah and uh more of the like the people in the area start hooting somebody throws uh like like splashes a drink in your face and come on now let's not waste perfectly good drink on the likes of this guy you see a couple of other dudes, like, really gruff, like, gritty-looking dudes in the corner, like, cheers to that and, like, slam their meat and, uh, and just general, like, elation amongst the crowd as you're bringing this, this guy to, uh, to the camp. And so you get over there to the, the thing and there's, uh, <clears throat> there's a guard sitting by, uh, there's these, like, essentially, like, poles in the ground um with chains around them and there you see no prisoners currently there's some some bodies dead people um but no nobody's chained up currently uh and the 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 guard that's in there is like oh we got another one great we're we're real low not a lot of people have if not everyone's gotten back yet, so we're really short-handed. So we can put this this one to work right away. Uh, and he, yeah, uh, I, was, I was told that he was going to be working with some guy named Nessim, the prisoner. I was told to fucking 
chain him with. Uh, he. Uh, Why did you say that? This could only go badly. <laughs> he looks at you. He like looks around, and he's like, he he doesn't. I, I, we don't have a prisoner by that name, and we. Ah, ah, must who, have been a misunderstanding. You know, after a while, all the fucking grunts around here start to look alike. Give me a deception check. Yikes. I'm, uh, he I'm seems a... put off. Like, he doesn't quite believe you, but he doesn't have any real reason to, like, like why would you lie about something like that? Look, man, it's been a long day. I, I, I might, I might, I, I might be slightly. And he, you, you, he kind of like shakes his head. He's like, "Fucking sell swords." Uh, you should ask. And money. he's like, "Yeah." And he, he's like, he tells you to, to just like, send him off to, like, essentially go like, dig, like, dig out the shitholes. Are there? Are do I see prisoners? No. Okay. You see where prisoners would be chained up, and you see corpses. You don't oh. see any prisoners. Um, he tells you, he's like, yeah, well, just, just, he, he tells you, like, he points off to, like, where the latrines are. He's like, you're going to be shoveling shit today. Great way to break the new ones in. I just had um, a bad thought. What if you just sold you. me into slavery and left? <laughs> Maybe. So, All right, uh, come on. You yeah, so he sends there. you off to the... To the latrines, um... Hey, can I do a quick perception check on them corpses and see if any of them are about halfling size? Uh, yeah, go for it. Can I, I'll, yeah. I'll They're do all halfling nope. size. You don't see any halfling size oh, corpses. I was gonna say I would also check. You just see, you just see corpses. Okay. Um... Okay, so... Uh, you get sent off to shovel shit. Uh, and I, we will move to the holy men now. All right, holy men. Is uh, uh, can, uh, burn back? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, what right. do you want to so go? So currently, uh, they are just walking off in front of you. Do you want to talk to the guard, or do you want to talk to the uh, go to the nice looking area? Let's go to the nice looking area. I'd rather not make it very well known that we have no idea what we're doing. Well, see, that was our mistake. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go. Yep. Doesn't take you any time. It's, uh... <clears throat> it's not very laborious, but it's annoying. You're walking up, a, like, a slow hill. Like, you're climbing a hill. Mm -hmm. uh, you get Lord up to... Gravity, my greatest enemy. So much... They, and they're significantly better, like, look better put together better material and stuff like that there's people eating um you know just general like you, you see as you're walking up you see uh uh herbal holding what you know as as ulrich and you see someone splash a drink in his face and there's just like it just you know you, you hear like a lot of hooting and hollering coming from over there and it's just it's south of you you're you're moving up the uh just to give you, I guess I should break this down a little better. The entrance to the cave, to this, not cave, but this thing is to the west. You all are walking east currently and uphill. Um, okay. You see them go south. Uh, you're at this point where you all are, you are basically dead center of the, the opening of the hollow. And... You're close to, like, most of the rest of the hill from where you are now is about the same size. Like, like is is level from here, except for where the nice, the much nicer hut that's by itself a little higher up. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, so go for it. All right, I guess we step inside. Well, they're, they're like clusters of huts and like people just around. Like they seem like like sleeping quarters and some of them look like storage, but they're like everyone's just kind of outside and eating. 
like just like there's campfires and people sitting around fires and there's tables set up and it just like i said it doesn't seem very well like put together but it's like there's no roads or anything there's just kind of like think of like uh like if you're thinking of uh, a movie and like it's an old knight's place and they've like uh, they're about to go to war but they're resting for the night and they've got all these pop up tents and like everyone's just kind of outside and eating and drinking right. the night before war. It kind of looks like that. Um, so there's no like you could walk into any of the huts, sure, but it there's it looks like most people are outside. All right. Uh... I guess I just look at one of them and walk towards them. Okay. I'll follow. All right. I guess I start talking to him. Uh, this individual. Good day Go to you. It. Hello. Uh, he the he kind of looks up looks up at you from uh from his drink and he's like he's like oh hi what what can i do for you yes uh i was wondering uh y'all look y'all look like you're uh very uh my brain's not working right now uh where where are we Bit where are you heading next uh he's like i've got no idea um He's like, I, 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 I just signed up. I'm still working my way up through the through the ranks. You see, this was uh, this was a great haul, though, man. <sighs> Who praise to you, man? And he like yeah, raises his glass praise, to you. Uh, the, the, the. Uh, do you know who we could <laughs> talk to that might have more information on where, on the comings and goings? He he, he like kind of hits his drink and he he looks around. And he's like. Ah. You, you might have better luck over there. And he points to uh, a campfire with some some more people sitting at it. Uh, he's like, I don't, I don't really, like like I said, I'm new. I don't know a lot of people here. And uh, he, like, he holds up his hand in this weird, like, like all, his, all five of his fingers are spread apart and, like, curled down. Uh, almost like like a claw. Like if you were gonna scratch somebody, you were pretending to be a bear or something. And he goes, uh, he goes, praise to him, it's glory. And he extends his right hand out with all his fingers outstretched. Um, they kind of like curl down. Um, I attempt to emulate said action. Uh, and yeah. Yell I, and I guess and respond with praise be. Yeah. Um, he's like, ah, yeah, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of it too, man. It's all right. Uh, and he, like, raises his glass to you. And, you know. I, like, raise he, my like, left hand. He goes back to himself and, like, starts to mind his own business again. He I goes back to his idle animation. Yeah. <laughs> I turn to the paladin and kind of no uh, notion my head towards the campfire. Okay. Um... Another avenue that we can look into is the person recruiting all these people. Probably a good idea. Oh, I should say, I'm saying campfires. These aren't lit. It's midday. They're just, but there are, like, it's like there is a place where a fire should be. Sure, right? like cooking fires for me. Right, 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 yeah. And, like, just places of, like, for people to gather and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Go ahead. Anyways, I guess we're gonna head over in that direction. Um, unless you have something better, you were about to say something, it appears, before you were weirdly interrupted by some... I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can hear it, too, though. God of gods. Go on. Okay. Sure. Um, Kess... <laughs> I'm in the DM. Kind of... The god. Kess kind of looks around, and he's... trying to put some order to the chaos like yeah I know there are just people I guess he's looking for like 
merchants or something like that that might be trying to take advantage of this like if they're trying to stockpile hmm, I'm probably thinking about it too much I, I mean I doubt... you do make a lick of sense well admittedly a lot of these people have about the uh, collective brain cell count of an unsalted prosciutto yeah, definitely there would be some people trying to take advantage of this. Um, but yeah, we we go to where we were pointed to by the other guy. Alright, let us be off. So you approach, you're walking up to the other group of people, was that right? Yes. yes. Okay. So All of a sudden, you, you walk up to them. So I have a they, a couple of them kind of look up at you and, like, nod to acknowledge your existence, but most of them just seem to be keeping to themselves, having conversations and, like, talking about... You You, under, you hear over here one of them, he's like, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, man, in, that, in the last raid, man, I, I cut that man down. It just, you know, just talks of the raids that they've had prior. Uh, nothing that he says makes it sound exactly like it was greenest or it could have been another place nothing no specific sure. details of where it happened but just talking of their past glories as it would be um definitely not the type of person we're gonna want to talk to uh i guess we try to see who the most intelligent looking individual here is if at all possible i mean they all just kind of look like people um, I guess you can give me, uh, well, insight. Let's, let's pull up, let, like, let's pop a squat, let's listen for a few minutes, see who is, like, taking charge of this, like, gathering, if anyone is, and who is talking less about what they did and possibly what more there that will happen. I guess that's an option. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, you guys uh, Kind of like sit down There's uh, there's not many open seats There's, you know, some people there Just sitting on the ground There's makeshift seats like stones And like, just kind of <sighs> like Like, not stumps But like, cuts of tree That are just like Like, you know, like foot and a half pieces of like just tree trunk that are just kind of around no real no real chairs to speak of but <clears throat> just kind of like there and and again the the it put out campfire not lit but a a a place a fireplace in the center of this like this it's very, circle it's very so yeah you guys out. take your seat um and uh, just kind of listen so yeah Give me, I guess, perception checks. Okay. I keep forgetting that my character sheet is in roll 20, and I keep, like, going to a different, like, yeah. Chrome tab. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that might take some getting used to. So, yeah, you guys can tell that most... Most of the people sitting here kind of seem to know what they're talking about. Um, some of them seem a bit more into the, like the violence of it all, but they all seem to have their, like they all they all definitely seem to be in the cult just based off of what you're hearing, um, and they all seem to be a little bit more than initiate. Like none of them seem to be like very green. They're all established in. Like they've some of the way you hear some of them talking, they've been to multiple raids. Um, some of them have, you know, talking about the, the, when they met uh, when they met uh, Langarosa, Cyanrath, and um, the one of them drops the name. Which I don't know if you guys have heard yet, but one of them drops the name of. I think it's Resm. Res hold on, give me one second where I find this. Resmer. Um and they they speak very highly of Resmer. Uh and so yeah, they're you know, just kinda 
talking and you you get you get the feeling that like any of them could have the information you're looking for or some information okay yep uh well let, you know I'll, I'll give you this while while you're listening you hear some of them talking about uh you pick up on just just by listening you pick up on that um resmer is in fact the like the leader of this encampment uh and that langarosa is his right hand man um uh you also know that there's a a cave that has all essentially all of what has been plundered from the many raids that have been uh accomplished over the the past you know month or so however long they've been raiding uh and that uh greenest was the largest raid that they have pulled off so far and that they've gotten the most from raiding greenest it was the the largest town or settlement that they've hit um and the closest to this location which is why it was so easy for you all to get back to it because it was it was right there um but yeah so that's the that's information that you get just from listening um okay um do you think that information would be enough or do you want to try and ask for this remy individual i guess we're talking under our breath i would assume um of course i'm going to <laughs> try to smoothly interject myself on a conversation um, like in an how is there a particular topic you're waiting to be spoken about for you to kind of pop into or are you just trying yeah. to like slide into someone's DMs essentially no I'm trying going, to you want some fuck wait for someone so if somebody brought up like the most recent plan which is greenness yeah like just kind of roll into that conversation um net like with a practice ease of like oh yeah that was great what do you think we're gonna hit next i'm a scorpio we're very compatible okay so uh the guy he, he kind of looks at you and he's like oh man they they really don't tell us anything, uh, man. I, but I can't wait. If we've if we've been building up and like we've gotten so far, like you now, and he, uh, it's like, you know, every, everything we've hit before this was so small. Greenness was it was such a, I agree, a great raid, like a good plunder. We got so much from it, you know. We're much girth. We're it's like, and he he like kind of like nods in the direction of a of a cave. Uh, up towards the, I hope I'm thinking of the right one because I'm not looking at the information right now. But he nods up at the where the hut is at the top of the hill and the the cave in the back that's behind it. That kind of looks important. It's being guarded. He's like, no one knows exactly how much is in there, but man, by all from all the raids we've gotten so far, man, Tiamat's going to be so proud of the of of the riches we're bringing her. And he just. He like he holds out a hand and kind of the same way the other guy did, where he's got his like hands out in a claw, except he's holding two of them, like he's got two of his fingers curled back so that they're essentially like turned in, so that they're not outstretched like the rest of them are. And he's like, "Praise Tiamat," and uh oh, like. So like he's it's got a his, and roll his hand. Is that what they're no, doing? No, no. So like the, his index finger and his pointer finger are in. Not in, index finger and his his middle finger are closed in, but his thumb, ring finger, and pinky are outstretched. Oh, okay. Uh, and he's like, "Praise Tiamat," and he just kind of he like holds out his right hand and he, he you know holds out holds out like that, and he, um, he just kind of looks at you and he's like, "Ah, sell swords." Sure. No, I'll, I'll do it. All right. Okay. I mean, yeah, he... I'll, I'll mimic it, but I'll say it in draconian. Oh, okay. Uh, 
He like yes, yes. he he uh, <laughs> give me a let's, I guess performance <laughs> to try and if you're gonna try and mimic his his hand gesture. Sure. Uh he looks at you and he's like, Oh man, it's pretty good. Oh man. Draconic, man. I don't know what you said, but damn. <laughs> uh, but damn. And he's like, he's like, but you're, he's like, you almost got it, man. He, he like, he holds his hand out and he's like, he tries to like help you like learn how he's doing it. And he, sure. he, uh, <laughs> he, he explains to you why he, he's like, it's like, so and he holds out his hand and he, it's the five fingers. He's like, this is to show Tim its power, right? And he like holds out the, the five fingers, and he's like, it's like to show this like you know, thing. praise be to him and all his glory or all her glory. And then he pulls the two fingers in, and this is he's like, and this is because we know Tiamat's hiding her true power, her true potential, just to show that, like, she has not yet like, like, you know, like really come out and like shown the world what she's capable of. So it. It's just to show that she's essentially, and to to break it down, I guess outside, not in character. Sure. So the open hand is like the five uh, five fingers to praise her glory. Uh, the two back is to show that uh, Tiamat's strength is hidden. Right. Okay. So five fingers really... out is praise Tiamat. Two fingers back is uh, is that Tiamat's strength is hidden. Right. Uh, so she only has three heads instead of five. Got it. These guys yeah, are really basically. nice. Uh, well, yeah, to themselves. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be pretty decent guys if they weren't murderers. Exactly. Yeah, that's how cults get you. Exactly. They're all, you know, so anyway. Um, and he kind of like pats you on the shoulder and he's like, man. He, and he, he asks you, he's like, so you're a cell sword or an initiate? Yes. <laughs> He's talking to Kess, but yeah, he gets, <laughs> yes, he's like, yes. He, he yeah. kind of looks down at you, like he almost, almost like he didn't see you there for a second. He's like, oh. and he, he looks back at, up at you, Kess. Uh, <laughs> Kess will just kind of like look over at Pane and kind of like make a gesture with his shoulder and nodding. Well, and kind of like that. Well, yeah, he's right. Uh, but it'll be. He'll say, honestly, like, we're just looking where to sign up right now. We've heard about the raids. We want in. Like, he's an outcast from his order. Mm -hmm. Somehow he's clung to his powers, and I'm just looking for something to beat the shit out of with the sword that I found yesterday. He looks at the sword, and uh, he's like, oh, man. That's like... <clears throat> That's pretty cool. And uh, he looks down at the guy and he's like, don't worry, man, y'all, we and He, he kind of like looks around and like says on his breath, he's like, honestly, right now, we're taking all the help we can get. So, I mean, but we, whether it be sell sword or initiate, we're, we're taking, like, you're welcome. Uh, and he's just like, he's like, we've got to, like, the, the way things are going, I can only assume we're hitting bigger places next. And um, he kind of leans back, and he's like, uh, he's like, uh, you know, damn it, she really, she wants, she needs her her treasure. We need to get all the riches for Tiamat. And he, you know, he holds out all five fingers this time, and he's like, praise be Tiamat's glory. I mean, it makes sense that the mother of all dragons would want, you know, the mother of all hordes, you know? And he looks down at you, and he pats you on the shoulder, he's like, you get it! And, uh, yeah, so. Okay. Kess will kind of <laughs> lean back, too, and, uh, continue looking around. <laughs> He's like, yeah. well, that was interesting, but not what I'm looking for. Yep. So, um, yeah. Feel free. Keep looking around. Sure. Uh, uh, I guess so, I'll join him in looking around. So to, to see what we have found. Right. To reclarify, 
There's like a storage tent. There, there's, well, there's a bunch cave. of tents. It's yeah, a cave. it's a bunch of. They're like they're like. Um, let me see how it describes them exactly. They're circular huts uh, made from closely spaced wooden or bone pole covers. So it's, they're either, it's a mix and match. So some of them are wood, some of them have bone pieces uh, covered in hide, mud, and sod. They vary in diameters from 10 to 25 feet, and they range from 5 to 10 feet. Um, the ones at the base were crudely built. You can tell that when they were put together, they didn't care. They look like shit, right? They use shittier materials on them and less time spent, less care. Uh, and the ones up top, where you all are, uh, that the are occupied by the the cultist and the um, and the the cell swords and whatnot, um, they're much nicer and they've got paintings of dragons and uh, there's a <clears throat> yeah so yeah. And from from where you are, um, you can see some that are like off to where you saw, uh, like so to the south. The hill kind of goes back down towards the the cliffside, and there's some some more huts down there that don't look like they're. Um, <clears throat> there's no like, there's not a lot of people down there. There's guards. Uh, and whatnot down there, and that's where you saw Herbal bringing. Um... Did God you forget my name? No. Ulrich. Ulrich. Sorry. I called him Tink earlier. Leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, I just call him Blue. Yeah. Or anyway, various so blue names. Where you saw Herbal bringing Ulrich. Um... Yes, Eiffel so. 65. Um, and those, those huts don't look, um, they don't look as bad as the kobold huts, but they, like, you can tell they're not, like, for, they, they, to, for back, lack of a better word, they look like they're prisoner huts, right? They don't look like they're, like, they're not upkept well, um, <clears throat> so, that's, and that's where you saw, uh, and from where where you're, uh, well, well, I'll just let y'all keep going. Sorry. Sure. Um, are there any places where there are like kobolds? Uh, not up here. It, there may be uh, one or two, kind of like scurrying around, but like, uh, like they come up for like some of the better food, and like you'll see people like kick them and like shoo them away and stuff like that. They don't look very welcome up here. Um. I can't imagine that they... I, I don't imagine that the kobolds would be very well uh, uh, informed. That's the word. But the one who commands them would be. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. Let's see. Uh, Kess... kind of so hoping someone at that fire would pick Kess out for the draconic but I guess he mm. or he was he was hoping for that like somebody would pick right. up on it and yeah. like kind of so he will he's honestly going to go look for the initiate like recruiter and go talk to them they'll follow <clears throat> okay um yeah, so you see, uh, well, the the guy will because you did ask him. I forgot about that. Um, he kind of pointed you in a in the direction of a. Uh, it, it's it's actually kind of close to the the prisoner quarters, so towards the the south. There's a a section where there's um, it's a very, I guess, ornate looking hut. Uh, there's much more purple and gold on it. It looks a little fancier. Um, 
not super fancy, but a, a, a little. It looks a little nicer than most sure. of the huts there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there seems to be like, you know, like a bunch of just people in just kind of around and like just talking there. And he, you know, he told you like that's that's kind of where people go to to learn more, and uh, like kind of join the cult, like where you get your your stuff, your start, basically. Sure. So he sends you that way. Okay. Then I go that way. Um. And I cling to him like. As y'all are going that him. way, you see. Uh, you see not Ulrich, but like Ulrich, but like the disguised version of himself kind of walking past y'all. Um, uh, kind of heading back towards the the entrance. Does he uh, look up at us? Uh, y'all are, you just see him. Y'all aren't like passing uh, okay. side by side. He's just, <laughs> you kind of see him like in the distance. Uh, you don't see Herbal at the, at the time, but you see him walking... Uh, kind of back towards where y'all were, but uh, down, back sure. towards, kind of like where the, the not as far down to the kobold, but kind of down that down that way. Hey Wigan, yeah. How badly would it fuck uh fuck you up if we all decided to become evil? Um, I mean it wouldn't. It's I didn't know game. if there I didn't know if there was a root in the uh, module for that. No, there's not. But, I mean, we could just roll with it. Um, this is roll 20. I get it. Anyway. Stab him. Uh, yeah, so you make your way to that tent. I'm going to get back to you all soon. I'm just trying to make okay. sure that, the, like, because what they need to get done needs to get done, and then you're just <laughs> shoveling shit right now, so. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, which we'll, we'll get we'll to that in a second. Skate. That's why we're anyway. Go ahead, guys. You get to the this tent. That's. I walk in. Yeah, sure. I'll go in. Yeah. So, you walk in. Uh, you see a um. A, human woman, uh, dressed in purple with gold. Uh, accents on her clothing. Head down in quill and parchment and just kind of like writing down. She looks like she's like looking from page to page, like flipping through books. Just kind of looks like she's writing a bunch of stuff down, doing a lot of paperwork, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just kind of like people around the hut. Nobody's quite inside, but people were outside that you walked past to get in. Uh, she does not notice you. Walk in. She seems very into what she's doing. Okay. What? So sorry. What is the hut like? If she doesn't immediately notice us, Cass uh, kind of goes into. Okay. Well, you don't notice us. I'm gonna look at your shit. So um, he'll like wander around the room and look at anything that's interesting. I'm holding okay, my stuff yeah, it's, back. There's to... like. There's like, uh, like a statue of like a crude statue of Tiamat. Sure. It's like uh it's a it's a wooden statue that kinda has like it's a dragon with five heads and each head is painted a different color of the mm -hmm. chromatic colors. Um just kind of like trophies and like it just kinda it looks like an office, right? There's nothing like particularly important that you can tell it it kind of looks like uh like if you were decorating your your workspace you would put stuff up that you were interested in there's uh maybe some trinkets that look like out of place but they you know they're just like like a bobble here or there uh some some books that don't seem to have any just looking at them they don't seem to have any importance they don't seem relevant to anything, but it's just kind of decorated blandly. Uh, the there's a, there is, however, a a painting or a portrait, I guess, of a 
a uh, a half dragon, a black half dragon, and a blue half dragon. Uh, you recognize the blue half dragon as being a uh, Langdorosa, Cyanrath. Um, oh, is they actually here? No, it's a po it's a like a a painting, uh, a portrait on the on the wall. Oh, okay. Like uh, kind of like like canvas, like it was painted and just kind of hung up. Um, and yeah, so and they're they're like in in the painting, they've got some uh, some some drakes around them at their feet. Sure, they're just kind of like standing there, mighty. And there's uh, in in the background of the painting, it's like uh, not clouds, but like like walls. Like smoke or something, and he, and it's like five tendrils coming up from a from like a body of smoke, and they're each colored, uh, like red, white, blue, green. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Um. But yeah, you don't. I mean, that nothing really stands out to you other than that. That that painting kind of seems interesting because you recognize Langarosa, Brian Rath on it. Okay. Um, but other than that, there's there's not much. In the background, you just notice that Pane looks like a six-year-old fidgeting about, really mm -hmm. wanting to do something, but knowing it can't. Um, by this point, she, like, she kind of looks up and sees you, like, nosing about. She's like, uh, I'm sorry, um... And she, like, closes her book and looks up and she's like, uh, are... Are, are are you all trying to like are, are you all initiates? Cass will say we are looking into it. Uh she's like, well, you know, there's there's no greater glory than Tiamat's glory. Beast. Beast. She like looks at you too and she's like, Are you, are you all sell swords? Are you trying to have have you been like Part in by our our great conquest, and are you here to join now? Like she seems very excited that that you all might be interested in joining. Well, we saw what happened at the Green Rests, and we thought, hey, if someone could do that to such a big city, we might as well join in on the fun. Am I right? <laughs> it's like, oh yes, everything for team. It we must we must honestly get all the gold in the world if we could. Yes. Mm. She holds out like a tiny little hand. She holds out her right hand and you know outstretched. She's like, "Praise Tiamat." And uh, she's like, "Well, uh, I, I mean, I guess. Uh, how how long have you all been with with us as cell swords?" Well, like I said, we we started right after the Green Rest. We just joined. Uh She's like, oh, okay, um, so, she's, like, looking down at, at her paperwork, so she's like, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, we're, we're growing every day, we can use all the help we can get, um, I, I guess if, if you're in. Great, uh, we might have a couple of questions as well, though, though I'll let our, uh... Oh, oh, of course, of course. I'll answer them I'll, to the best of my ability. I'll let you take care of this, bud. Kess has just over been, at you. Yeah, Kess has just been kind of staring and like, that's it? We're in? And she just kind of looks around and she's like, well, you've seen what we're about and you're still here, so, I mean, uh, I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere, right? I'm just happy surely you're not going to be able to just walk up to Resmir right now, but you're you're more than welcome to join. I point out to Cass. You see, that's the thing about cults. If you're interested in the cults, then you're going to actively search them out. Only a fool or a suicidal man would actively come in to the den of a cult with ill intention. I 
Kes she just, just kind of like of... smiles and nods and like she looks a little confused and she's like, "I, I mean, we're not that bad." I Kes just kind of like looks around the room, kind of going back and forth, and yeah, he says, uh, "I honestly thought there would be some sort of ritual, like." ritualistic burning or you know giving away my world of possessions to Tiamat that comes uh, later she's like well I mean if we did that for everyone at the start we'd have no one you've got to work your way up we got to make sure you're serious first but I mean your aunt you're an initiate you know you got to start somewhere ah I see so it's like a probation we no, like to so... think of it as initiation. Ah. You know, because you're an initiate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely didn't expect to have any clout, but it, I just expected, you know, like a... I don't know. Anything. Well, <laughs> he kind of laughs and he's just like, I don't know. She, I, and she kind of like... First cult. <laughs> She she kind of looks at you and she like she's like, I mean I'm saying you're in but you're not. You're still nobody. Oh thank God. Sure, but like, <laughs> no blood oaths, no like I, he's still just kind of flat. Like he's not trying to prove a point or anything. He's just more or less like talking to himself now. He's like, yeah, no blood oath, no burning, like no, no marks on my body, like. Well, like I said, that probably comes later. Sure, but like, surely they would. I don't know. I, I, I would do it differently. Well, you're not me, and this <laughs> yeah. is also my first campaign. No, so it's fine. And this is Ket. Like, this is yeah. Kes. Oh, and, Kes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That that felt like Bobby, but all right. No, no. <laughs> it, it's and I I get it. Like, trust me, I I really get it. But yeah. But no, that's how cults get you. They fucking... They sweet you in, and then, yeah. then the ritual burning starts. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... It's like... She, she looks at, uh, down at Pane, and she's like, You said you had questions? Yeah, but he's better at asking them. I'm... And she looks okay. back up at you again. <laughs> like... And one of those weird, like, wide-eyed smiles that you see from, like, like soulless clerks at a grocery store or something sure. like that, like... Oh, God. Um, so who do we hang out with? Is this Costco? Uh, let's see, let's see. Who do you hang out with? Um... She, she tells you that, uh... Like she's like, well, you can, you can go anywhere in the camp except for. She kind of nods up at uh, where the, the ornate hut at the uh, the top of the hill was. She's like, that's off limits to everyone. You can't go there. Sure. Um, she's like, only only the the topmost uh, members can can go join Resmir. Mm -hmm. Uh. And she's like, but yeah, you can, everywhere is fine. Um, she tells you that you can find food uh, down in the, a little further north, like just past the the first set of huts that you find. There should be people cooking and whatnot, uh, drinks to be found and all that stuff. Okay. So there's no like one place to go meet other initiates. They're just kind of spread out. She's like, well, we we did just get back from a raid, so we're we're you know everyone's still settling in today. There'll be a little more structure tomorrow. Um, you can uh, meet up with um, with with other initiates. There's a uh, a cluster of of huts uh, towards the 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 northmost area where a lot of the initiates like to to hang out. It's kind of closer to the 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 south area where the kobolds are um okay but it's it's like north and, and south a little bit um but yeah she tells you that yeah again there's there's no real 
stuff. So. Very well. Um, All right, we'll see you later. That was the only question you had? I mean... He did say questions. Kes shrugs and he's like, you probably don't know this and you probably can't tell us if you do know this, but when are we heading out for the next raid? (laughs) Um... I do want to uh, take a moment to pause, not to sure. cut you guys off, but we should probably go ahead and transition over. No, no, to... no, 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 no. Um, okay. I feel like there's a. This is out of character, out of you know whatever. Um, you all were supposed to find out why Greenest was attacked, not where they were going next. Uh, I understand that yeah. you may have your own direction. I forgot about Like that. what you're trying to do, but I, I wanted to make sure that you weren't misremembering why. Well, no, I remember that. I just didn't okay. think that she would be the person to ask. And also, I'm bad at remembering how to words. Both in yeah. character and out. Yeah. I okay. can sweet talk the shit out of someone. I can't ask them a okay, question. But I was me. just curious because it was several it's, times yeah, that you've asked. And asked yeah, yeah it, it was being asked multiple times, and I, I just wanted to make sure that you guys mm-hmm. weren't essentially barking up the wrong tree. Not that that's not the right question to ask. I It's just... Um, I... Yeah. I mm. Unless there's, like, some mystical reason. I don't know. Like, Kess is not... He he knows that the that's the objective, but to okay. him, like, there's no... One could it... also argue that in finding out why we're hitting the next place, we yeah. could glean some clues <laughs> as to why we're hitting the previous places. You okay there, buddy? I completely forgot that Kane was not... Tink, and I thought I was having a conversation with Tink. No, it was just Sean giving me shit. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Sorry, um, let me switch so to that, my yeah, character. Back into, uh, yeah, she, she tells you that, uh, well, I mean, we, we just got back. We don't, we don't have a plan for the next raid yet, as far as I know. No words come down from the top yet. As soon as as soon as we know where we're hit next, we'll make sure to let everyone know so we can have a plan ready. Sure. Then I guess while we're here, what was so special about Greenest? Was it just the next logical target to test the might of the growing horde or Well we've yeah, yeah, kind of. We've been as I'm sure you all know as as cell swords, um we've been I don't know how many raids you all have been in. You, well, you said you were just here at Greenest. We've hit a lot of smaller settlements a little further away, and we've kind of been just just building up and working our way to bigger targets, and Greenest happened to be a very close, large, and as it seems so far, very lucrative target to hit. Um, yeah, we're just, you know, trying to acquire as much treasure as we can for Tiamat. So you hit it because it was big, it was there, and you knew that you could get there. Yeah, pretty much. It wasn't, it's not very complicated. I mean, any target is a target. We just needed to get, you know, as much treasure as we could. And we kind of been just working our way up, and it was the next logical place to hit. Yeah, I guess that makes sense to a sense. To a degree. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you for your right. time. Yep. So uh, we will. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, move back to uh, Team Eggnog now. Which <laughs> the whole group is Team Eggnog. <laughs> no, separate teams. This was Team Holy. Y'all are Team Eggnog. That's fun. Um, <laughs> Holy Eggnog. Anyway, are, so... we, are we just Christmas time together? Yeah. 
Egg hole. All right. So, uh, Ulrich, you were sent uh, off um, to go essentially, uh, essentially redig out the latrines, um, which is in an area just south of where the nicer huts were, but not quite towards the kobolds. Because no decent man would go shit near a kobold. Um, so yeah, there's there's an area, and you're just kind of... They gave you a shovel while you were down there, and you're just kind of digging away. Um, Herbal, what did you do? Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess I'm... I'm I, I was under the impression that I was... I was under the impression that I was escorting him over to the... To the... Okay. I mean... I was just with him the whole time. Okay, yeah, so they, yeah, sure. They sent you over there, or, well, I guess you insisted to escort him. He's your prisoner. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Still keeping an so eye you, out you went over there uh, to uh, watch him shovel shit with other prisoners. Okay, so there are other prisoners over here now? Yeah, this is a place where, where work, prisoner work is being done. I will cast a Sounds glance like a around job. for a halfling again. Um... Perception. I mean, I guess I'll do the same. Yeah, yeah go for it. Not, that was not for me. Nice <laughs> twinsies. Uh, you, you don't see anyone who matches Leeson's uh description. In Are you sure he was taken it, by this group? Just, is it just me and the prisoners <clears throat> are here right now? Uh, no. There's, there's definitely other guards keeping watch, uh, making sure that the the prisoners, uh, and you see that there's uh, about four others here, four other prisoners. Are they working they're... like in close proximity, or are they like stationed far apart from each other? The prisoners, the guards yeah. are there to guard the guard from the uh, guard. They're, I'd say, y'all. I mean, you're like, you're would it be weird around. if I were to walk up to one or like try and work next to or? act like I was working next to one of them so I could maybe... Uh, yes, because you're essentially digging out a shitter, uh, and the shitters oh. wouldn't be that close to each other. Okay. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna approach some of the other guards and just be like, so where'd you get y'all's prisoners from? My voice keeps changing. I have to get back to this. They, right they kind of look at you and they're like, oh, these are not our prisoners. These are, this is Tiamat's prisoners. Right. And they, they kind of look fair. at you That's and... Fair. Sorry, I'm, I'm new. I'm new to this whole cult thing. Cell sword, huh? Yeah. You know <sighs> me. Bag him and grab him. It's like they kind of look over yours and like, looks like you got a good one. He should last a while before he croaks. And they turn. It's a fast turnover right here. I mean, we we don't waste food on the prisoners. We just put them to work till they drop. Yeah. Why would you waste food on them? Question. Yeah, it really. It. Oh, sorry. What? It would it's be like, waste like, to be. I was uh, wondering when. Uh, do we know a time frame of when the guy was taken? Was it during the last raid? Yes, that's okay. what the uh, the kid told you that he was taken from Greenest by the raiders. Okay, that's what I was making sure of. Um, if he was taken a while ago, I wanted to make sure, like, if there was a chance he was just starved to death. Um. So okay. the guards are talking to you, uh, Herbal, mm -hmm. and they're like, "It just, it's, it's so weird how they treat that one prisoner." Oh, have they got someone in special treatment around here? Well, they, they're just making sure the bastard stays alive. We work the rest of them to the bone, but not that one. That doesn't seem fair. What the hell did well, he do to get such special treatment? I wouldn't call it special but it is special it's not in the best shape it seems like they're just they're just keeping him just barely hanging on some kind of they just don't let him die like the town rest or of something them. what'd you say was he some kind of important guy I'm, I'm really trying to get back into the original voice i really have no idea what happened to it it's fine is he is he is he some kind of guy that, that from a from a town or some noble He's just some punk they picked up in the last raid. Yeah, if they're keeping him alive, he must be a big guy. Well, 
Thing is, it's actually quite small. It's one of them, them halflings. Half, half, half what? Half man, half fighter or something? Ling? What's a ling? <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this guy into a really shitty who's on first. <laughs> what? He just kind of like looks at you and he's like, What is that? No, one of them half man, half elf. Things. Who's on first? Yeah. That's a fucking Abbott and Costello bit. It's one of the oh. greatest things ever. I've never seen uh, it. So he's, so he's half, half man, half elf, half ling? That's three halves. He's getting very irritated with you. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, they got him. They got him in a special lockup somewhere. Like in fancy tents. <clears throat> uh, he's like, well... Resmir seems to keep keep paying him very special attention. I haven't seen him be this way with any other any other prisoner. So he doesn't have to be out here shoveling shit. Where are they keeping this guy? Royal um, Palace or something? He kind of like nods up at the. He's like Dur during the day while the rest of them work, they bring him up there and and. I guess question him, and then he nods up to the kind of near the minutes. where the no. tent is at the top. Well, if he's getting so much attention paid to him, I doubt he's going to be in the best shape for long if he doesn't start telling them what they want to know. Here's to that, poor bastard. I'm sure he's wishing for death by now. Fucking oblivion dialogue. I mean, it'd be great if I could just give it to him. Ah, but as you say, they're not our prisoners. They kind they're of for the dragon yeah. goddess. The other days, disgusting um... creatures. <laughs> now I've got to try to figure out how to get Ulrich out of the shit hole. <laughs> I just got inadvertently put into prison. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's All just right. keep him there. Be, what? I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Take a moment to think some amongst yourselves. I think Hunter, I've got mute, a plan, but it's your, not a great uh, plan. You want me to deafen? No, I was uh, going to say, Hunter, mute you your to. stream uh, and watch that video I just sent you. Okay. I'll Did turn off the desktop audio. First, first video? Yeah, he sent me the I... eight minute long death. Uh... Yeah, no. No, watch it after. Yeah. Okay. Did you I not know, hear me say under my version. breath, go, oh, God, that's eight minutes, not right now. <laughs> One sec, there's a, I found a three-minute version. Oh, so, God. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might be able to cast sleep on you and knock you out and just pretend you already dropped from exhaustion and just, just be so fucking embarrassed that my prisoner died already. Wait. All right. All right, I want to um, check something real quick. All right, so Ulrich and Herbal, what do you do? Yeah. Then? Um, it's been it's been quite a while by this point. Um, it's probably been about 30, 35, maybe forty minutes uh, for all of this to have transpired. Oh boy! You've been um... you've been shoveling shit for some time. For yeah. how long? There's a lot of toilets to clean. For about 30 minutes, so I have about... How long left before my transformation ends? Uh, 30 minutes. I'll get... Well, I'll give you a hard... It's pro you got about 20 minutes left. Okay. Okay, so we gotta do something. It's not a concentration spell, so if I knock you out... It wouldn't... It shouldn't... Sh it should still go. Yeah. So I'm thinking of casting sleep on you just to pretend that you already dropped from exhaustion. Okay. And I, I think that's what I'm going to do. What is so, the plan after that? I drag you over to the dead pile. You're going to carry an eight foot tall creature over to dead. To You're the five foot right now. Shut up. I. Okay. <laughs> Fucking he Christ. He just appears to be five feet. 
I mean, if I gotta get a guy to help me, I gotta get a guy to help me, but I really don't want them to... How many guards did you say there were here? Uh, there's like three. And how many prisoners are there? Uh, it's five, including Ulrich. And Prison they, break! Are they, are they chained up at all right now? Uh, no. No, they're wa they're working. Is there anyone else within view right now? Yes. You're in the middle of a camp. Damn it all. Damn it all. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. This is this is. Uh, uh, I hate this. I don't have my my planning friends with me. All right. Yeah, I think that's. I'm gonna go <laughs> wander back over to Ulrich and run the plan by him about causing him to pass out and see if I can do something about it. So you're going to walk up to the prisoner and talk to him? I'm going to make it look like I'm giving him shit. Yep. Uh, go for it. Now you better shovel that. And don't stop shoveling until your hands are bloody and ready to fall off. And under my <clears> breath, <throat> I'm going to say, All right, I am going to do my absolute best to knock you out with this spell. And then, I honestly, mean, I don't know. If it's not a... I mean, if I have to roll or is it a... Say or like a uh, save for that. There's no save. I mean, if I'm complying, to, oh, I didn't know if it was. I don't think there's a save. I gotta you can choose to fail. The, I was one. I was. I was about to say. I was like, if I have to, I would just choose to fail. Nope. Uh, Tink would just roll five d eight, and yeah, and unless I roll some super ones, I think I can knock you out. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know what your max hit point total is, and you can't tell me, but. On a scale of 1 to 100, it is not good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. And then you're just asleep until uh, you take damage He's or asleep are... for one minute or someone you know, hits him. Yeah. Wakes him up. So, All right. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to, as soon as he drops, I'm going to try to quick cast... The spell friends on my so on a on the now because then he'll know. Ugh. All right. Well, I guess that's really all I can do. All right. Uh, as you cast it, give me a I guess sleight of hand. Hmm. Well, is it is it even? Uh, it's a VSM spell, so yeah, you gotta do something with your hand. So I need you to... Disgusting. Or, right. I mean, I guess you can give me... Because you have to do a whole lot. Go ahead and give me just a straight-up stealth check. Because no, it's, that's not it's everything. Better. I know. That's, like, the same. Yeah. Well, sure. Oh. Um... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> These guys that well-versed in magic? That's all I'm saying. Um... I mean, they okay. Wouldn't so, he have to roll a? Go ahead and roll. Yeah, now roll your your spell. I'm. I mean, wouldn't the guy have to roll a perception check, or is that? Would it just be passive? Well, all my rolls are on my end, so it doesn't matter. Oh. for you. That's fair. Yeah. Um. Tell us. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me now. Uh, go ahead and roll the, the sleep spell. Yeah, See if you even knock him out. Fucking rolls that. Five nat ones. Uh, Sixteen. I don't think that's even enough. It's not. Yeah. It doesn't work. So, yep. I mean, so the spell fizzles. Um, it doesn't even work. Yeah, so the... the guards it just, just looks like look he slapped me. Real weird. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, what kind of... What kind of insult was that? Because you had gone over there to talk shit. Uh, and give him shit, and then nothing happened. I'll look back at the guard and go, You want me to give you one? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, well, there you goes hit him for 1d4 emotional damage, <laughs> pretty, pretty and he passes much. out. <laughs> go, uh, <laughs> so here's the thing. 
I don't know what to tell you there, friend. <clears throat> you, you, you stay here and do what you're doing, and I'm going to go meet up with our teammates, and we'll figure this out. Don't ask me. You already know my answer. All right. I mean, you better figure it out when... You better figure it out in 20 Within minutes. Within like 20 minutes? Yeah. Or else I'll have to make my own way. <clears throat> I mean, the I'm not tied up still, right? I my hands were No, point. no, you're you're free. You just have I guess a lot of people you still have your me. gear on you. You just appear yeah, as though you don't. I mean, what "Quote unquote gear." My clothing is just regular. Oh, that's clothing. right. You're yeah. You're a monk. You don't have anything. You just. I mean, I have a hard, sickle so. hidden up my robe. Can or I? Somewhere. Can I look around and see if I can spot our teammates? Um. You. Uh, I guess at this point you see them walking, kind of down towards near where the the prison camp was, where y'all were. I'm gonna try to catch their eye and signal them that we're gonna they play don't charades. see you and you see them walk into a hut. No, you bastards! <laughs> yeah, can't change the past, bud. Sorry. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only thing I can Final do is try <laughs> fucking try to cast sleep again. But I think they're on to me right now. Oh man. I don't know. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at or I can go I, I got I got I got nothing. You got anything? I mean, what's stopping you from just going and finding them? Not wanting to leave you alone. Oh. I mean He's fine as is for now. All I'm things so considered, already been a I'm a prisoner. fast I'll motherfucker. Just put him back in there. If I have to run, I can probably do some quick th run, or I can probably do something about that. I mean, I still, right. I'm just, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I mean, I can just. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But you don't know that, like that. No, I don't. So... But he he just asked me what's stopping me from going to get our teammates. Yep. So I mean, all right. if you I'm, think you'll be I mean, okay I'm, here by yourself, I didn't mean to actually put that in the chat. <clears throat> the um, one of the guards kind of comes up to you and he's like, "Let him finish his work." All right, all right. I I gotta go collect my pay for bringing this guy over here anyway. I was promised a bonus or something for bringing a prisoner back and I'm gonna go wander off in the direction of our team yep alright and um I guess at this point we will allow you three to meet you all were I believe leaving the hut yes. uh, <clears throat> yeah you all step out as uh, herbal kind of like comes up to you guys. So, oh, how's it um how, how's it going for y'all? We're in a cult. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Thank That's, you. It's uh, my first one. Eh, I'll make it easier. It's my second. I don't like this one as much. Did um did you guys find out what you were looking for? Yes, but it's not going to Go well with the people there. They're not going to yeah. like the answer. It, there's no real mystery to why Greenus was attacked. It's uh, just they were the next target to test is the big, might. Is there? That's unfortunate. Hey. Yeah, no. Very. So it sounds like you guys had good news and bad news. It, you know what? Same. How's that for a coincidence? Good news? I, I may have found where the monk we're looking for is being held. Bad news? Uh, Ulrich's in deep shit. I'm assuming that's a joke. It's more of a poetic... Uh, Justice? Yeah. 
Is he in a cage or is he working? No, he's literally in deep shit. He's shoveling shit right now. He will change. He's, and he's he won't out. look the same. So he's out in the open. He, there's nothing for him to like hide for a moment for him to change back. He's he's shoveling latrines. He's digging ditches. I guess he could duck down in a ditch, but there are three guards watching him. Like actively watching him. Actively watching the gang of prisoners digging ditches. Very well. Yeah. Then we gotta set something on fire. Or we could... How many guards were there? <laughs> there are there are Cass three. Says that with an there absolutely are, straight face. There are three, but it's in the middle of the camp. I, I just point Ooh. over in his direction and go, this is, really it's, yeah, well. not, not, not a really a hidden spot. Okay, so more hear about me out. Fire. What? You say there are three guards. Yep. We could probably distract the three guards, one each, just long enough for him to just kind of book it. Maybe, but again, it's the middle of camp, so I don't, well, I don't know how many people know. Well, when he changes back, it might be okay. Nope. 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 Well, we only got about 20 minutes, so. Yeah, we'll be fun. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a bit of another bit of heavy retconning here for uh -oh. a second. Um, the tapestry you saw inside the hut was actually of a, a I believe it's a woman. Well, the female half dragon that nope, was, was the female Langarosa. Nope. Uh, yeah. Is this another one of those you're not sure if there's a man or woman thing? So we are here for androgynous enemies. Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah, it is it is a a human uh with paler skin, white person with long blonde hair hair oh standing God. next to the bl half blue dragon. It's Strahd von Zarovich. Um and what? It, the information you got, and I know this is going to be confusing. I knew when I said it, I was like, man, I hope I'm remembering this right. Uh, <laughs> uh, the um, the leader of this area is uh, is Fralam Mondath. Uh, Resmir was just the uh, person who she, and this is actually a she, uh, set the camp off. She's been here for a couple months. Wait, hold on. You're going to have to say that again. Yeah. So there's Langarosa, who's the right hand of who? Uh, Mondath. Mondath. And Mondath yeah. is the leader of this encampment. Right. And Resmir is a... Uh, she set the camp up. She got here a few months ago and set the camp up. And has not been seen since? Uh, people have seen her. She's been around. Um, she's, uh, from information you've gotten, she's a, um, uh, she's a black half-dragon. Um, and the information, just to clarify, the information that Herbal got is that, uh, it, it is Resmir who had a special interest in Leosin, who has been keeping him alive. Not Monda. So I gave I got that part right, but I mixed I basically combined those two characters when I was reading through this. Gotcha. Um but yeah, so separating Mond it. Mondath runs the camp. Uh Resmir is the one with the special interest in Leosin. Can we change so, Mondath? Because we might actually stand a chance against no. uh oh, okay. No, not you. To what Hunter said. Mondath's name is Mondath. That is what it is in the module. So. Um. Mondath. Yeah, Mongo. Sorry. Uh, you all can go back to uh, frantically panicking bullshitting. about what you're going to do about your giant blue man who's about to be a giant blue man. <laughs> <gasps> what if the blue that man will, went solo? A little man that will turn into the giant blue champion of greenness yeah. yeah yep that guy cool. who rolled uh three charisma when he walked into town yeah that guy yeah hey 
I have a charisma. Oh, a two. You're right. It was a two. I will have you know, my charisma is dog shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's going to do a lot for you here. But yeah, you all go ahead. I'm so glad I chose the uh, option to not do anything like punching related. But no, let's do the charisma related one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we gotta... I get the feeling that if he were to be able to, you know, yes, we should probably figure out where the guy is first, the prisoner. But after we're done with that, I guess we could try distracting the guards to see if uh, we well, could I think try we might and have get to distract the guards first because we're limited on time for getting him out of there. Yes. We could try to see if we can... I mean, they're totally dead bodies <laughs> out true. back. There's we can, m like, try to get the guards to bring them out there. We can kill the guards and just get out of here for now. So, okay, but... Uh, we should, should still try, knock try and out figure out what are the, uh... The, 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 the monk... Baby monk. Yes. Well, we can talk to the guards that are guarding the prisoners and be like, hey, there are dead bodies that like, those prisoners need to deal with. Like, they need to dig ditches or, like, fucking graves or something. And yeah. then yeah. we can get them out there. We can rescue Ulrich and all right. Monk. Let's, I'm, I'm all for it. I, I study Kess's features and I go, that's fucking brilliant. Just hope if you works. want, I can go and uh, talk the man to death, as it were, and try and get the guards to help me take him out. Maybe. Well, I mean, I, I, I like the grave idea because, I mean, it, it's an excuse for physical labor, and the bodies are a piling up over there. And if one just so happens to disappear, which no one will be paying attention to, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm for it. Uh, they they know me though, so I I. All right, I guess are, me and uh, while you all are the... talking, you hear uh, you kind of hear like a scream in the distance, and you recognize it as Ulrich's voice. And it just sounds like he fell into the hole, into one of the latrines. Well, looks like I he have is a small narrative shit. coming on in the background. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I enjoyed that bit, so I included it in the canon. <laughs> no, I like the one I just added, where I cleaned a latrine and a guard with a newspaper just walks <laughs> up with. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay. So you all go ahead with whatever you're going to do. Yeah. Ding. I will call checks when I need them. I will. I'll start heading over to the guards that are watching the prisoners. I'll okay. pass a bardic inspiration to both, uh, uh, both of them. Okay. Cass and Pane. So. Sure. How are you doing that, by the way? I'm just curious. How am I giving them bardic inspiration? Yeah. I, on the I, cheek. I once again look down at my bracelet that says WWQD, and I go, "I I don't know that there's anything I can say that'll 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 inspire you more than you can't fuck up any worse than I did, and if you find yourselves in deep shit, well, at least you're already in the latrines. If you find yourself what? in deep shit, then you're already in the right place. <laughs> Inspire with this with these words of." Inspiration? Encouragement? <laughs> Encouragement? Uh, like, yeah. You That's find nice. yourself inspired? Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, okay, so go ahead. As just, we're walking, so, I'm curious to go ahead and talk to I want to make sure down. I know where everyone's you, at. Do you? Uh, Herb, you back me up when we have to take the guy out. Uh, where am I right now? Where that yeah. they just came Are out of that Are you staying back, Herbal? Um... Or are you going with them? I just want I to make sure stay, I know where everyone's I at. I will stay far enough behind them to try not to pick up suspicion from the guards that I already dealt with over there. <clears throat> but okay. close enough that if something goes wrong, I can get over there in a hurry. Gotcha. So you're kind of like... Yeah, gotcha. I gotcha. I got what you're doing. All right, you two. 
back to what you were doing. Okay. Okay. Kess, as we're walking back, Kess will look to uh, Pane and say, the story is words getting around that somebody, that the outer back perimeter was ambushed. Uh, they need the prisoners to clean up the bodies. And... Yeah, we're gonna help keep the prisoners in line and escort everybody and help out. Got it. Secure the butthole. Yes. Got mm -hmm. it. I'll let you take care of the details. Just so I'm I just know what you're talking about. Where are the bodies that you're talking about? The people that we fought before coming into this place were trying to get... I mean, they're like... I mean, I'm not trying to... Get... Go ahead. Sure. Well, we'll, you, we'll get you to you that way. And... Yeah. I'll... We can get there. If you in conversation, go for it. Sure. Okay. We get up to the guards. Kess a look between them and say uh not really like distressed or alarmed or anything like that just kind of like matter of fact hey rear guard's dead we need these guys to help clean up the bodies and dig graves the guard he just kind of looks at him and goes he he's like rear guard they're like why, why do we care? They're so far away. But one, you might need someone else to actually take care of the rear. Because nobody wants to come in from the... Nobody wants anyone to come in their back door without knowledge. Well, that's Just a matter for patrol, not for prisoners to dig bodies for corpses. Do you want them to deal with all the dead bodies? When they could be dealt with by people who, you know don't matter or animals can eat them that takes weeks and it stinks it's also less work we have to do you literally do nothing anyways you're just watching like five people move shit slightly to the left and this job stinks Yes. Would you Let's rather do it? Break. Let's go clean up bodies before they stink. Let's take a break from this. I've cleaned bodies. This smells better. Well, from like, what we've if, seen, if you want to dig holes bodies. for bodies, there's a pile of them over there, and he kind of like points at the at the prisoner camp where there's like. The they basically got like bodies laying around from the the dead prisoners that they've just been kind of like tossing into a pile. What do I see around me? Um, like, what is the Im the immediate vicinity? Yeah. So there's the oh, latrines boy. in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, the five uh, prisoners kind of like digging them out, uh, and then there's the. Within, it, I'd say it's probably about 50 feet worth of, like, latrines, right? It's a large camp. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's you and Panay standing next to each other. Uh, you're talking to one guard, and then there's another guard about 15 feet over, and then another guard about 15 feet over. And uh, the prisoners are spread out throughout this 50 feet as well. Um Okay. Other than, um, other than, and and if you're in the open as well, it's not like you're y'all you are behind any cover or anything. Like you're within, like the latrines are within view of the camp. Like nothing is really other than like the the bushes and the side and stuff like that, like around the edges of the the hollow. Like it's. It's a pretty wide open area. It's just kind of like a hill that goes up. Um, and then other than the the huts as well, the huts give some cover, but for the most part it's it's pretty open. Like you're where from where you are, you are visible from the the upper portions, like the people who can sure. see down. 
Um, okay. But yeah. yeah, that's what I was wondering. Who yeah, yeah, you're, this? you're, yeah, you're. I mean, try and do whatever you want as stealthy as you can. No. You know someone wants you to. Um. Yep. Hmm. What spells do I know? Probably nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing crazy. Let's see. This is, this is tough. Hmm. I'll look to the other guards and I'll call out to them. You feel the same as this one? Uh, they're, they're like, I mean, <clears throat> it's our job to just have them clean the latrines. If someone wanted us to clean those bodies, we'd have word from a higher authority. Ooh. Hmm. Am I within hearing range at all? Other, otherwise, um, yeah, because they're kind of far away, so they're 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 speaking up. Um, hmm. So you can you can kind of hear what they're saying for the most. You 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 understand what's being said. You're not hearing every word, but you're you have a grasp of the conversation, or at least what the other guards are saying. Kessel turn to Pane and say these are the most disciplined cultists that I've seen today. <laughs> you say that, but they apparently don't understand I, shit. Um, I'm going to look around and see if there's a place where I can get drinks from really quick. Because there are yeah, you can see uh, about 60 or so feet uh, north there's a like uh, a series of huts and like uh, just a place where there's just like someone handing like there's barrels of like ale and whatnot. And, like, All right, I'm gonna grab head. three three mugs of ale. Okay, and go wander back over to the guards. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'd like to walk up to the one that I was I was slightly aggravating earlier. Yep. Like, hey. He looks at uh, like, well, I guess he looks up. He's like, huh, oh, not you again. I know, I know. I didn't make the best impression earlier. And He kind of yeah. sees that you're holding three mugs and is like, his. I'm trying to come make up for it. up a little bit. I'm trying to. I got some drinks for you and your buddies. Just, just let me bend your ear for a minute. If you guys could tell me what it's like being in the cult life you know the cell sword is fun but I'm, i think i'm looking for something a little more permanent they yeah they uh he he takes a drink and he's like well i can tell you it's it doesn't start out easy you you gotta do a lot of and he kind of looks at the the prisoners he's like some of us even had to shovel shit before we got here luckily we've we've captured a a good bit of prisoners to help work to help with that work now. I'm gonna look uh, over at the other two guards and say, "Hey, wh what about? Come on, guys, come come grab your mug and how how did how did you guys get roped into all this? You got these um, two. These two will keep an eye on things for us." He kind of looks over and he's like, "We're still not going to get those bodies. No, uh, not out of bodies. Bodies." And yeah, they they just start, you know, they engage in polite conversation with you over the drink. Uh, doing my best to distract them. Again, clearly. Um, by this point, uh, um, you all realize there's, like there's probably like between, there's probably about 10 minutes left on 
his spell. Um, but, but yeah, yeah. He, they're. I, uh, I'd love to. I'd love to hear more of this over a couple more drinks. Dude, can we? Come on, if you guys come with me. These look at these two, and they can they can watch over these guys. And they're not gonna go anywhere. I mean, what are they gonna do? Wander out of the hole? We got an entire camp of y'all around here. The uh, charisma check. Uh, Remember, check not save. Check not save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. That is a nat twenty. Nat twenty. Uh, they buy it hook, line, and sinker. Uh, they look back at um at Pane and Kess, and they're like. To Don't help you let it, I try and do the raised Tiamat hand gesture. Um. Yep. So, you take them off a little bit. They're uh, they're still reluctant to get too far away from the prisoners, but yeah, they walk off a, a good bit ways. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Uh, They'll be in our sight the whole time. The drinking booth's right over here. Yep. So they kind of walk off with you. And uh, they keep looking over their shoulder. They're still a little nervous, but they're they're enjoying their drinks. Four mugs of ale, one for each of my friends. Then come on, maybe your newest member. Like motion the paladin to like move in the direction of where uh, Ulrich is. Uh, yeah, Cass. Sorry. I'd guess moves with you. I look up as they approach. Yep. As I'm still shoveling shit. Yes, I also look at uh, Big Boy Blue and kind of nut, like, motion my eyes towards the nearest wall. I look over at where the guards went off to and see, make sure they're not actually watching. Every now and then they kind of throw a glance over, but they're not actively watching. Okay, well... Hmm. Stop right there, criminal scum. I mean, if they're still looking over here, that it might not be... Hmm. Remember, your head is three feet above where they see. <laughs> um, I'm going to head over to the halfling. He's not there. Oh, he's not here? Okay. No. Yeah, no, no he's I, I told over you guys where in... he was. It was a... uh, yeah, no, he's, he's uh, being... He's magically um, there, then? Interrogated by Resmir. Oh, great. Is, is yeah, the information that's... you were given. Gotcha. Uh, you also. I mean, I guess, okay, wait. Uh, from, the realization. From the information that you all have picked up, um, you know that during the day, I, and I thought I said this earlier. I know I said it a little bit, but I, I didn't make it very clear. During the day, the prisoners are put to work. Uh, at night, they are essentially shackled uh, in the prison camp. Gotcha. So. Well, we wouldn't be here long enough for them to anything. But yeah, I guess uh, if you want to get out, now would be the best time to do it. Okay, I guess I will try and sneak out or sneak away from the piles of shit. Is there any bushes or anything like that? Uh, yeah, kind of like along the, the cave wall. Some of them kind of, like, jut out a little bit. Um, and there's a few, uh, like, in the open area, but most of them uh, seem to be, like, near the near the plateau wall. Okay. Um, let's see. There are also uh, large rocks and whatnot as well uh, near the like boulders and whatnot, rubble along the, the wall. Sure. If you're thinking of, like, cover and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
Kess kind of flies into his best performance of a fit of rage and starts shoving Ulrich towards those bushes and like shouting obscenities. Yeah, basically yep. like mock punching him in the stomach and like. Uh, give me a performance. Gonna joke that holy shit! I blinked I and he disappeared. I have a question before we do this. Sure. Um, what are the odds that everybody here knows about the Furbolg? Probably too big. It would have. I. I. Again, like, if we're talking out of character. Kess feels like he's going to get recognized at any moment because he's let people live. He's let kobolds, and I'm pretty sure he's let a person live. Um, any so... humans we let live were usually either you they didn't know what you actually looked like because you were hiding under a shawl, or they were immediately brought to the keep. Kobolds, on the other hand, they speak draconic and not human, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but that, like, it still doesn't matter to Kess. Like, it, it could, this could turn lopsided real quick. Yep. So, uh, okay, so you're pushing yes. back. Yeah, give me that, uh, that charisma, I mean, that performance check. Damn. All well, right. I'm going to yeah. use the Bardic Inspiration. Go for it. How much is that? A D6? A D6, yep. right? Now, yeah. Be good. Twelve. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Better. Not bad. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you put on your your best, which is pretty shoddy, of a uh, performance of just kind of yelling obscenities and and clearly like, from like Pane and Ulrich's standpoint, you look uncomfortable yelling at uh, yeah. what is your teammate. Uh, but from from the outside, it looks convincing enough. Um. You just kind of, you look like um, just somebody just giving someone shit. Uh, and you, yeah, you, you you pull it off. You push him back into the into the shrubbery. Uh, out of sight from, you know, most people. The prisoners are kind of looking at you in awe uh, that you're berating someone and kind of like, oh my God, please don't let me be next kind of thing. They've seen several of them die so mm -hmm. they see you push one of them each one of them the in the eye and give like a you're next kind of glare to them just to kind of hammer in the they can't see my eyes i keep forgetting that just to hammer in that i'm gonna anyway. fuck you up all right so you got him in the in the shrubbery what's up we're on I mean, where is the shrubbery? Is it? It's just kind of like uh, it's like would it be along the for... the walls of the plateau? Is this, um, like could we run along these walls or like try and stealth along these walls to get up to that house? Not the entire way. It's 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 not like the entire wall is covered in it, but there is like a boulders and stuff and. I'm assuming you could, but sick. you could potentially make yourself from cover to cover. But um, I'm assuming I'm like it's seconds not like a from clean escape. Seconds from the transformation ending. Uh, I would say by this point, yeah, you've got like I don't know, like between five minutes and zero minutes. You're somewhere in there. You've got time, but it is running out. Okay. Okay. So let's say let's just go with a solid three minutes. So you have about. 30 rounds. <laughs> How far? So we're on a plateau, right? There's. Is well, there you're, a... you're in like. A bowl of the plateau. Kind of. So, like, the plateau is around you. You're okay. in, like, a, like, a bit of it that, for whatever reason, is not part of the plateau. It's kind of like a hill. Like, there's an opening, like, the. It looks like a horseshoe. Right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So there's a horseshoe, and then the inside of it just kind of slopes up, but it doesn't quite meet the the height of the plateau. Okay. Um, and where you are now is about mid height of that hill. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just need to go. Like, there's not really much we can do by sti sitting around here. 
I... Uh, so, let me absolutely get straight what you tried to make appear what happened. Did they see you actually kick the guy into the shrubbery? Or what did, What were they supposed to see? They were supposed to see me lose my shit and, like, push this prisoner away. Me screaming obscenities about, like, don't you look at me. You have no idea who I am, what I'm capable of. And, like, when they get to the bushes, he's going to pull out his sword and... Uh, basically mock a blow and try to like chase this dude off with a with his weapon I mean that would be kind of odd from an outside perspective Why? yeah not like, well if they're a prisoner they're is supposed it, to stay is it gonna there. be as odd as a prisoner literally turning into a giant blue I, no, I just meant in the middle of a the, field that specific action well, it already happened, so... Yeah, I sure. know. No point in arguing or discussing that. Especially out of character. So... He's through. I mean, I, I have I'm no gonna... clue. Okay, Stand so there you're just watching the prisoners. I'm sort of just following now. along with what they were playing... Or with the plan they had. Which was apparently not much worse. So um, what are you doing? I have told you to run. I mean, I guess I was. I guess I start running then. <laughs> I get. Am I running towards the house? I. I mean, you just. I guess you're just trying to run wherever you can. I'm the most likely one here to be picked out of the crowds. I mean. I guess I'm going to try and make my way towards the house up at the top of the hill if I can as stealthily as possible. Or what the uh where the monk would be at. Cuz I'm not the kind of person to just abandon so the, uh, the yeah, group. so you uh, you start uh, making your way uh, west or east towards the um, so you're gonna have, yeah so you're going east along the the southern wall of the the plateau. Give me a stealth check. A stealth check. The letters oh, are so tiny. Yeah. Alright, so uh, you do a pretty good job for uh, the most part, but as you're stealthing, you're moving slowly, and it's not long before your disguise wears off, uh, and you go from being a six foot three human, whatever size you are, to being an eight foot something blue man. Uh, suddenly appearing on the side of the, the cliff face. And uh, at the moment, no one seems to notice you. Okay. I mean, how far away have I, or how far have I made it at this point, do you think? Uh, you, so where you are now is pretty close to where the, the prisoner camp is. Okay, so I didn't make it very far. No. Stealth, you move at like half the speed. So, and... could I see the group from here, or they would they have gone back out into the open? I mean, uh, I know, I know I mean, Herbal is still chatting up the guard, or... Uh, from where you are now, um, you can't see uh, Pane or uh, Kess. You can... You know where? Let me see. Would we me say? Could we say my or does my would my outfit have a hood on it? Uh, I mean that would have been up to you. 
I have no clue. All I know is you handed me clothes at some point. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there would have been uh, a cloak in it or something. Along okay, I'm going to put that up to try and hide the fact, like... For as long as possible, like, if somebody were to look at me from out of the corner of the eye, they wouldn't see yep. a giant blue guy. Um, they would see a cloaked you, figure. You, yeah, and so, uh, you don't quite see where her, her you don't see Herbal, but you know, you can see where he is, uh, from where you are, because you're kind of looking up this hill, and there's some, like, huts in your way, and you, you definitely can't see, um, Pane or Kess currently. But you know that you are, you know, yourself now. Uh, and like I said, no one uh, appears to either notice you or care that you are where you are. Okay, I guess I'm just going to keep making my way up there. I mean, trying to stay unnoticed or at least not noticeable. Yep. Um, now that you are worth noting. you and not... Uh, your transform self. I'll need another self check. I mean, at least people won't see me as an escape prisoner. I mean, granted, who would all who would have yep. known by that point? Question. Uh, yeah, not yeah. I mean, not many people, but yeah. We can't okay. really see him, correct? Who him? Y'all can't see him. I'm now. just He's... trusting that they'll make their way up there somehow, or in um, some way. So you're you're moving along, and as you're getting closer, you notice uh, that the hut is surrounded by. Um, there's four. Like now that you're like you're closer within eye shot of the hut itself, um, there are four meaty looking drakes. And oh for very tough looking people. Uh they look like the 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 higher ranking person that you fought in the um the rear guard. Um that took like thirty hits. <laughs> yeah, that guy. I killed most of them. No, um, there was only one of them. Yeah, it was the me. one. I did. There was one person that was very tough in the last fight y'all had outside in the rear guard. Uh, so yeah, you see four of them, and there are four meaty-looking drakes, uh, kind of like patrolling and guarding uh, this hut. So they definitely don't want anybody disturbing them. Um. Let's. Can we say that I'm like behind a hut or something? Like I'm just. I can see this from whatever hiding spot I've decided yep. to make myself. Yeah. So there's um. Yeah. So you you are currently in cover and uh. As far as you can tell, no one knows where you are. Okay. Well, I'm going to hunker down and sort of stay in this position where I feel like I'm not going to be noticed, at least. Unless somebody's out actively looking for me. Um, uh, and wait to see either what the guards do or if my uh, group makes their way up there. Because there's definitely nothing I can really... The hut's in the sort of... It's in the open, right? It is out in the open. It is yeah, the highest, no, most point of yeah, this Yeah, there's kill. no way I'd be able to sort of make my way up there without being not seen. not the right word, but yeah. Or make my way around the building or whatever without being seen. So I'm going to sort of hunker down and wait for either my group to make it up there or something to happen with the guards. Like, whether that be some form of change of the guard or somebody coming out of the building, whatever, anything of note. Okay, so you're just kind of holding your place. Uh, all right, we can go back to uh, the rest of the group. What are you guys doing now? I'm still with the guards drinking, as far as I know. Okay. I'm going to... Uh... All right, so I'm going to go with the thing I was planning on doing, and... 
uh, take note that one of the prisoners is missing and was like, Hey, what happened to one of the prisoners? It was the one you were beating up. What happened to him? Is he talking to Kess? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you talking to Kess? You you're talking, talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking, talking to you. To I'm me. talking to you about the prisoner you beat up. What happened to him? Where'd he go? Uh, he's gonna make a motion to like clean off his sword and say, "I don't, I don't know. I put a good gash in him, though." Doing his best to maintain a livid demeanor. Livid? Yeah, you were livid. Pissed, right. Yes. Uh, cause he's angry. So, uh, the one of the one of the guards notices that there was a commotion. Um, one of the guards I'm with. Yep. Oh. Uh, and he <laughs> oh. sees, cause they they've been like looking back periodically, and one of them noticed, you know, that the the man was shoved into a bush, and he just sees the the other guy walking away, wiping his sword. And he just kind of shakes his head, and he's like, oh, they never listen, do they? Well, one less prisoner to worry about. I'm going to turn and he look He goes back direction. to, uh, like, drinking with you. Oh. oh, man. It just had to be mine. Oh, he God, looks over, and he's like, well, it's, to tell you the truth, he was shit. <laughs> <laughs> You just hear in the background. I get it. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Uh, no one seems to care that you. Uh, or it. I mean, yeah. No one seems to care that you shoved a a prisoner into a bush and walked away wiping your sword. Sweet. That was the hope and dream. Yep. Honestly, I was. My actual original plan was to just have him disappear and then call attention to it. But after he had already gone far enough away to where no one would notice, figure out where he was. But that works too. Well, where you all are now, because we're kind of doing this like time jumpy thing, uh, he is still sneaking. He hasn't quite made it to where he is currently. But yeah. Well, we're still watching the prisoners until... Someone well, I mean... comes by. Yeah, sure. Um, so, <clears throat> let's see. Um, I guess if I uh, Kess is keeping an eye on where the guards went, if they don't look like they're coming toward him, he's going yeah. to be a little bit more relieved, and he's going to walk up to one of the other prisoners. Yep, go for it. Um, and just be pretty much as blunt as possible. What do you know about the halfling? They're like, oh, oh Leosin? He's, uh, that, that, that crazy bastard, he, he, he goes on, he, he got captured on purpose. God damn it. it. masochist. Why? Hey, uh, from from, I mean, if you believe the ramblings of a madman, apparently he's been he's been studying the, the, the dragons, and he he wanted more information, and he thought the best way to get it would be to be here himself. Does he get locked up with you guys at night? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, all the prisoners get locked up together they just they take him somewhere special during the day while we all work and every day he comes back and uh, i mean i'd rather shovel shit than do whatever they're doing to him what time do they take you to the pens it's sundown we work sun up to sundown every day very well what what is, uh, what <laughs> He just kind of like takes a second and he looks at him and he's like, why are you even asking? 
<laughs> a curious mind does a curious his... mind. Kess puts his hand back on his sword. Do you have questions too? No, no, sir. And he picks up his shovel and he goes back to shoveling shit. He does kind of like he looks up and he goes, oh, "He's like." Oh. I was in Greenest too with him. We were taken back together. Like just kind of hoping. He says he says it with like a like a faint amount of hope. A couple of us, a couple of other of us, or two were from Greenest. And and he just kind of looks away and starts shoveling shit again. Guess. Kind of. Hmm. Reminds himself of what he's here to do and kind of snaps out of it and says, keep keep your nose in the shit. You may find gold. But he like says that not as gruffly. And yeah, if he can, if I can aut like automatically tell that he's hopeful, I'm trying to put a tinge of that hope into <clears throat> Kess's words. He um he looks confused and he's looking at the shit and he's mm -hmm. like I mean I don't almost... you can just tell like like he looks he's taking it almost like he took your words literal yeah he's looking fine. at the shit and he's like oh, fucking man. did he see a guard drop some coin while he was dumping like. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he he looks hopeful, but it doesn't like yeah. you can tell it's not exactly the sentiment you were trying to give. Right. But clearly, the kobolds yeah. were eating some gold, and it came out finally. Um, right. uh, the kobolds don't the, don't use these shit. Gold, gold, coal, gold. These are human turds. That's or not human. But people turds. Can, can we mention uh, these turds look like they came from a humanish creature? Can we mention yeah. that like? We were shoveling shit for a good 30 minutes. How Who's much... Sh or at least I, the prisoners. Um, oh, yeah. At least. Something I mean, the others were here before me. How much actual shit is there? It's a very large camp. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a lot. People, it's enough mercenaries and cultists to take a town. So yeah. it's going to be a lot. It's, a, it's essentially, yeah, it's essentially I'm literally a thinking town's of like, worth of toilets in a row. I'm thinking of a, like, my imagination is and a you're garbage And you're not dump. shoveling that much shit. You're essentially, what you're doing is making sure that each toilet has enough room so that, like, shit isn't coming out of the toilet, right? Because it's basically holes in the ground. I was just thinking not of quite. a garbage So you're just, dump. like, digging out these holes that are full of shit. It's not something that's done every day, so, like, the shit builds up, and you're just getting rid of that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, Kess, you and Pane are moving on to... Question mark. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna stand there and kill time. Okay. And, like, my objective... I'll, I'll go back to Pane and say, I guess, our object objective now... Is to wait till sundown because I'm not going anywhere near that tent on the hill. Almost definitely not. That's a death sentence. How um how <laughs> how intoxicated are the guards I'm with? Uh, at this point, not too bad. You you've all had about one drink. I'm gonna look at them. And go, you know what, you guys? They're they're I'm also pretty... they like they seem like. You know, you and I, when we used to work at Rouse's, we yeah. had a couple of drinks sometimes. But we were mindful not to get hammered because we still did have to go back to work. They're kind of like that. So they're like, they're drinking and enjoying themselves and getting loose, but they're not putting themselves in like a blackout state. Like they're they're very mindful not to drink too much. And you can tell uh, as they're drinking that they're like, they're not slamming their cups back. At, they're having their, their cups at, you know, their mead or whatever. As when's and, uh, the last time y'all had a day off? One of them's like, "Oh, well, my day off was yesterday," and the other one's like, ah, I, "I think my last day off was about about three days ago." And the other one's like, "The other one's like, oh yeah, I, I had two days ago." They seem to have like regular 
like work schedules that they get, you know, days off every now and then. Just asking, cause I mean, Dave's not here. I'm, man. I'm new. I'm gonna be learning how to do this. I go take your shift here, over at the guards, and you guys can just enjoy the rest of the you day. You said I'm new. I'm new. Like I'm new to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure I heard you right. Yeah. But yeah, and I, I was just gonna go over there with those other guys, and I was, you guys, look. One of them looks at you and is like, "You're new." When did you join? Said just now. I told you guys. I was thinking about <laughs> becoming like, the newest here's one. Here's your mug, and <laughs> he's like, "I know that. We could always use another one." Some of you your guys... swords are pretty good too. Although, and he kind of looks you up and down. And he's like, "You don't." He's like, "You you could stand with a bit of the the lifting." I'm, I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll build that up as I go. But I'm he, usually just he the like one takes that a sip of his drink and, and he looks and, like very like one of those like yeah sure kind of sips. I provide more support than actual you know straight muscle. But if I'm gonna be here, I know I've got to pull my weight. So why don't y'all stay here and have a few more drinks? And I'm gonna go. I'll take over your shift. That way, you had three guards there. I'll go, and there'll still be three guards. He, uh, they're like, oh, man, that, you know, it's been a while since uh, we've had a recruit so endearing. You know, go... <laughs> well, he, he tells you, like, they're going to be there watching and making sure. He's like, basically, he's like, well, you guys do we'll keep an eye on you and make I'll sure make nothing sure. terrible happens. I'll uh, make the, sure they the don't kill another should be prisoner. around in a couple hours. I'll make sure the prisoners stay alive this time. The last thing we need is for one of us to be in the pitch shoveling. It's like, hi. We are running a little shorthanded. We could use with a few more prisoners, but, you know, if one or two go missing, <laughs> what's the worry? I hear you. He's like, it'll be you shoveling shit, not us. I'm going to laugh along with him and go, yeah, 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 stick the new guy with the shitty jobs, and then I'll stand up and I'll walk off while I laugh. Uh, I want you to roll me a d20. Just, just flat a, out d20. Just a, okay. Yeah. Now, how does one do that? Hey, there's the die. There's a d20. Let's roll yeah. one. That's a 10. Okay, nothing happens. You're good. All right. That was a bad joke, man. I just wanted to see what. <laughs> well, that's my whole thing. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm thinking about how to incorporate your, like, like mid-conversation bad jokes and see if I can, like, work some stuff in with that. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, okay, so you, you could always give him divine punishment. Uh, Pane and... Yeah, I'm gonna go rejoin Kess. Pane and Kess and go, nope. so you didn't actually kill I'm him, I'm gonna be right? listening, y'all have to go pee, I'll be right back. He's not, go he's ahead. not really dead, is he? I know we needed to get him out of here, but you guys didn't have to murder him. Oh shit! It's all the fucking this dude. <laughs> when did you switch to Boston? Look, <laughs> this was originally supposed to be Italian. I'm speaking Russian accent. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> I'm doing at this point. I'm um, just chilling behind a house. So, no, I'm just asking y'all if y'all actually killed him or what happened. What I've seen, it doesn't I... look like he's actually dead. Yeah. Mm. Where? Kess looks legitimately taken aback by the question. Uh, no. He's very much alive. Uh, I just figured he needed him out. So where do you, where do you wander off to? Fuck Cause... off if I know. I mean, I've convinced them to just leave us be for the time being, but we're gonna be here watching the prisoners for a minute. Catch me up. What have I missed? Smell of shit. I'll move. We're we're not near the prisoners, right? Like they can't hear. That's us. super close. I mean, I'm not. Gonna... No, no, y'all no, no, are essentially like. If there were a road in front of where the the latrines were, y'all are kind of out there. They're behind them, kind of like in ditches. Sure. Um, okay. Well, 
I mean, I've kind of volunteered for this, so I'm I'm watching the prisoners as uh, I'm just relaying all the information that we went through. Like, Greenus was selected because it's just the next in a chain of events that was just convenient at the time, and they had the manpower to do it. Convenience. Okay. Apparently the most plentiful place yet, so. And, I mean, mercenaries are pouring in. I don't understand how they're getting paid if everything's going into a, like, locker, essentially, but they may just be oh. taking what they want and Could giving up what they have extra. Could also no, be I think what ends up happening gold. is, yes, they get paid at first, but once they actually become higher in the hierarchy, as it were, they give all their shit to Tiamat. I don't know that the Soul Swords would be joining the hierarchy. I think they're getting paid a flat fee, and they might be allowed to keep some of the loot that they take. That would that would be the fair way to recruit. Probably. I guess is... Yeah, sure. Um... Anyway. Um... Right. Current plan... You guys are... I, I don't mean to cut you off, so... Hey, go, I'm sorry. If you if you got more to talk about, go for it. Just I randomly on. stare at one of the prisons or prisoners and say, "Hey, you, get the back to work." Yeah, it's right. you. I know what you're doing. Trying to slack off. No, fuck you. Get back to work. All right, and fuck cast you. <laughs> and turn back. Uh, Kess just says, "I think the plan right now, or at least the one that I had, was." Midnight jailbreak. Well, or at least. I... Well, someone's going to have to tell me that. <laughs> well, 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 you're also not next, here, so. The next shift of guards is supposed to be coming to take over in a couple of hours. Very well. So right. I, I was hoping this would be the last shift before we took them back. If that's it's, it's still like early day. You got to remember it. If we're going by the length of his spell. Yeah, it's only yeah, been an yeah, hour fair. since you walked into camp. That's fair. That's fair. So, uh, yeah, well, I would say a couple hours to plan by the this jailbreak. point. By this point, timeline-wise, uh, it's probably, um, I'll go with like eleven. It's almost midday because uh, it's been an hour since his spell went off, and then because he's sneaking, and I'm gauging time. You've all you all been sitting here while he's been sneaking. At this point, he's made it to where he's at, so he's about thirty minutes out. So it's almost noon at this point. Um, okay. So we will. Uh, I'm going to essentially fast forward time uh, to the point where the next shift change shows up. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, so, uh, shift change, you see, uh, you three are standing by the little trains and a set of guards comes walking up and, uh, they're kind of shooting the shit with each other. And, uh, one of them, you hear one of them mention, uh, something called the nursery. Um, and they're just talking and, um. They kind of walk up and they, they stop when they, they see you because they weren't really paying attention. They, they notice that you're not who they're supposed to be leaving. Right. And they're like, like where are the, the gods who are supposed to be here? Ah, well, we kind of got stuck watching the prisoners because it was our first day and all. They said we needed to get broken in. They're supervising the supervisors. Yeah, something uh, like that. The the one in the back just starts laughing and he's like <laughs> fucking recruits. You listen to everything. And uh I mean they told us we might be here for a while. I didn't even realize we were getting swap outs. Uh it it's been a couple hours. It's well after <laughs> by this point. I guess what I was pretty much trying to convince him was that we weren't expecting them to come take over and we were prepared okay, to I got stand you, I got you. the whole time and so watch. So yeah, they're like, ah, oh, no. The, the one at the front is like, oh, no. We're, uh, uh, we're, we're your relief. I guess your relief. 
Uh, well, so yeah, feel like free. It's, 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 go take your lunch. Go eat. Um, enjoy a drink by now. You're done good. And he looks out, and they're only expecting four prisoners. They don't know about the fifth that's not there anymore. Um, so Sick. yeah, they don't. Everything looks fine to them. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so uh, they they relieve you. And, um, yeah. Okay. I... I was going to jump to Ulrich now, <laughs> but he is going to get a drink. Uh, so yeah, I'll, we'll run with you for a Did little Did anyone longer. see what direction he strolled off in? Like when they no. were... No? <clears throat> oh boy. I mean, uh, give me a perception check. Maybe you did. Sure. Oh boy. Uh, you too, Pane. Mm. Yep. Nah. Not you. You definitely. Uh, I know, him. but I mean, <laughs> I rolled anyway. Yeah, y'all. Y'all could tell that he essentially ignored you and went the opposite direction. <laughs> so you can tell he went west instead of, or you can tell he went east instead of going west. Okay. You were you were trying church. to urge him to leave camp, and he went deeper into camp. Sure, I'll go try um, to find him one once for. Um, before we walk off, I want to look at those guards. Gonna. What's the nursery? Do you like? Do you guys have a kid-friendly area here? And they start laughing at you. <clears throat> and the the one with the Irish Scottish accent, he's like, he's like, nay, kid, you see that cave up there? And he points at the one behind the um behind the hut in the back. He's like, that cave right there. No one. But, uh, fuck. Names. One second. You got no one but Mondoth, Cyanrath, and Resmir. And those appointed by them are allowed in there. That right there is the nursery. I was about to say, okay, but what does that have to do with children? They no. say. They say there might be dragon eggs in there. You know what? That sounds about right. I had, you know what? That's on us for not putting and, two and two and together. He, like, he holds up in the most sarcastic but sincere way one his right hand up in the praise Tiamat like clutch and the other one in the hidden strength his left hand up in hidden strength. He's like Praise Tiamat in all her glory. And it seems I like tried. he's doing it, he's joking, but he also seems 100% sincere. I attempt to emulate his... his... I will also do the same. Okay, I want, I want performance checks. Oh boy. Well, I feel like nice. I should have been, been better there. You but... nailed it. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, to be fair, still in like full ass armor, so yeah, yeah. So you're why. like, you're like, <laughs> you're like fucking like plate mailed <laughs> hands. <laughs> like you can't even bend your fingers that much. Bunny throws up more of a hang loose symbol. Yeah, and so he's like, Bunny's he looks at, he looks at you both, and he goes, he's like, for okay, you're back. Uh, I'm gonna be with you in just a second. I was gonna jump to you right as this ended, but you went to go to drink. But one second, we'll be back with you, Ulrich. Um. Yeah, so he, uh, he, like, <clears throat> he, he chuckles, he's like, <laughs> Aye, good attempt, initiates. One day you'll get it right. Just keep practicing. And he kind of winks at you, Herbal, he's like, you've got talent, son. Um. <laughs> they judge their talent based on how also, well. Also, like, just as, like, an observation, you've never seen anyone throw up both symbols at one time. It's literally this one guy. Uh, as far as you can tell, like you've never seen anyone else. Like It's always been just the right hand, and it's either been uh, hidden strength or praise uh, team it. Yeah. Um, Go ahead and but block yeah. that. So, uh, well, all right, so before I jump to Ulrich, you all, <clears throat> what was your plan as you were walking away? Was the plan to go try and find Ulrich? Is that right? Mine was, yeah. Okay. Something like that, yeah. Alright. So we're gonna jump to Ulrich. Ulrich, uh... 
your plan was to sit and wait, right? You're observing. I was correct? under the assumption they were going to head this, or the group was going to head. What are we calling right. ourselves? We're the eggnogs. I don't know what they're. So you're holy doing. eggnogs. If your whole group combined. Okay, the holy egg. The rest of the holy <laughs> eggnogs. We're going to Named make. Named by the... No Cyrus, whoever that is. <laughs> we're going to make their way to uh, the house along with me at in, at some point. Okay, so, uh, but your but your plan was to wait and either wait to see them or to see just if watch some... the house in general, right? Yeah, to see if anything happens in the or with the house. So, um, while you're sitting there, it's uh, <clears throat> some time passes, right? It's thirty minutes, an hour goes by, and you see uh, a very familiar blue half dragon uh, leave the tent and kind of walk out into the camp. Uh, it is Langdorosa Cyanrath. Um, and you know that person very well because they, they kicked your ass and stabbed you in the chest while you were on the ground dying. Um, I, I immediately scowl because I don't like the idea of having just been beaten so easily. Yeah. By this... So, they're a cultist, right? Or... Or are they just uh, part of the Hispanic camp? Yeah, no, they're they're definitely uh, it, part of the cult. Yeah, yeah. Um, that I was. They're beating. very high ranking. You. Yeah, I don't like. You the know idea. that they're. Yeah, you you. I mean, you you gauge from uh, the following they had in town because they were surrounded by a dozen or so kobolds, um, and that they commanded quite the presence. You assume that they're pretty high ranking and the fact that you notice that no one else has left or come from uh this this tent while you've been sitting here but yeah um, i definitely don't like the idea that i was beaten so easily by a filthy cultist yep and so i have what i feel is a personal grudge against uh fucking what how do you pronounce their name it's Langdorosa. Langdorosa. You'd Cyan Wrath. Is Cyan Wrath. It's, it's, yeah, just go Cyan Wrath. It's that you Langdorosa know, it's that like makes me think it's a girl, too. Like, Langdorosa just sounds like a... I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. I just, I think Langdorosa, Cyan Wrath is the, the, half, the blue half dragon. And you see them leave the hut and head into camp. Um... Do any of the uh, guards follow him? Nope. Those nope, by himself. Just... Okay, so they're still they guarding don't the place. To. They <clears throat> yes, they from and from what you can tell, uh, I didn't know if they had like an entourage they, situation. Like, no, they they. Uh, I guess give me uh, an insight check. I'll give you uh, an idea of what the yeah, okay so. You can tell that of every person you've seen in this camp, those four uh, soldiers and the four drakes that are up there uh, take their job the most serious. Okay. Like, they, <clears throat> they are taking no shit. <clears throat> they are essentially at attention at all times. Um... They are patrolling. They're doing essentially like yeah. They're there is at no point that they look like they have ever slacked off. Does, while you've been watching for the last hour. Does like, Lang Derosa, like like does it just look or does Sinrath just look like he's going into town or does he look like he's like do I get a read on where he might be headed? Uh, he he looks like he's just kind of wandering through town at the moment it doesn't look like he's headed anywhere in particular okay well that doesn't really change much in my what i can really do at this moment i guess i'll try and start heading back the other direct or heading back where i came from to try i guess because obviously they haven't made their way back up to me 
or up right. to here. And, and by, it's, by and this it's been point, about it's, an hour. Yeah, by this point, it's like it's noon, twelve thirty ish. You'd think they would have made uh, some sort of progress up here if they were going to. So I'm going yeah. to start heading back to try and. Yep. Uh, All right. Yeah. So you got you start heading back. Um, uh, was it the whole group that was going to meet back up with? Uh, Orc, is that right? Or go to look for, looking for him? I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure about Ribble, but I know me and uh, the Pel. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm tagging along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think he oh, was okay. tagging along with you guys. Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. Uh. You all, it's 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 not a hard place to spot somebody if you're looking for them. So it's especially not hard to f spot the eight foot tall, got right. hooded figure. Right. So. Um, yeah, you all see each other and are able to reconnect without much trouble. Um, no one seems to be paying you all much attention. Uh, again, there's a lot of hmm. peculiar folks in, in this camp. Uh, so, you guys meet back up. You're, I would say you're kind of... In front of, at this point, uh, where you all would have met up, the natural point, trying to think of the map, uh, not quite in front of the prison camp and also not quite in front of the recruitment tent. Uh, so you're just kind of in, like, almost the middle area, almost where you, uh, where if, if Kess remembers where you were having the conversation with the established group. You're kind of near that area, I would say. Uh, a little further south, like closer to the to the prison tent and whatnot, but uh, kind of in, closer to that area. So, everyone meets back up. Okay. okay. I inform them that I saw Langdorosa make his way out of the house. I didn't... I, and that it just looked like he was going into town. Not, I mean, but if there was anything that they wanted to do, or if they wanted to make their way up there while Langarosa was out, then, you know, now would be a good time. I didn't, I, I'm unaware of what their plans are at this yeah. moment. Well, there's, go ahead. There's also the, a strong possibility that, that black half dragon could also be around somewhere. And honestly, I'd rather not tangle with either of them. True. Well, I don't. I don't want to like break immersion, but uh, Ulrich, you have no idea about this black calf dragon at the moment, oh, okay. or anybody else. The only thing, the only person of importance that you know of in town is Langdorosa. Okay. You've been. In You've then. been locked up this entire time, and you haven't seen anyone leave that tent other than Langarosa. Okay, then I'll ask about the Black Half Dragon. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to make that clear so that you weren't like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to butt in like that, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, Black Half Dragon, who, who's the Black Half Dragon? Remember his name, I'm not good with names, but, uh, it would appear as though there was another half dragon here. Uh, he, he's, well, you see that guy, the guy who kicked your ass. He's blue. Uh, this guy, he's black. Which means there's got to be a red, green, and the, what was the fifth one? White. White. That dumbass. Somewhere here, and they are going to be the half dragon rangers. Uh, and they shall mount Tiamat like a mighty uh, Megazord. Mount. I I'm not gonna lie. For a second there, I thought he was being serious, and was very it concerned. Never serious. Very concerned about there being like five different powerful half dragons. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, Kess states the plan that we're not going anywhere where the plan is not to go anywhere near the main tent because that is 
suicide as we are outcasts and if we get anywhere near Langarosa our plan is foobar. Especially once they realize us two and I point at myself and the monk. Because mm -hmm. so he has we're... actually seen us. Yeah, so we're gonna lie low and wait till nightfall to talk to the monk, the halfling, about why he's here and if he even wants to leave. My money's on masochism. My yes, already. Is, is on... that for a reason? What? Didn't you just roll an insight? No, oh, I did that did a while I? ago. It said oh, he was. Sleeping. It just it just popped up for me. Wait, no, because yeah. I would have. Yeah, no, that was there earlier, man. He rolled it. Yeah, I don't know. Too. It it just re popped up. Okay. Weird. Uh oh, you know what it was? He started typing, and so yeah. it showed he was typing, and then that went away, and it made the the twenty like bounce. And okay, got it. Anyway, yep. um, all right, so. So you guys are just gonna hang out in town until night, or in camp until night. Well, I mean, I plan? should probably stay out of the public eye just in case. We can, act, if you want, you and I can uh, just sneak you out. You know, try to hide you. Uh, just get you out of the camp. Get you out of the camp. Yeah, because I know you guys. He definitely needs to stay out of the public eye. But I think Cass and I should still be okay to roam around if we needed to do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. You two go do your do. I'ma lay low and try to avoid the blue boy, the two blues, like the plague, and get you, monk, out of a, uh, out of here. Why did you say that? Like you were confused. I'm trying to figure out a name for you, okay? It's not yeah. easy. No. I mean, right. my name's Ulrich, but okay. I don't sure. do names. Guess we'll head back to the campfire that he hung out with the other guys with. And just kind of chill there until nightfall. Guess is making friends. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, actually. Friends I'll probably end up having to kill later. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> We're um, gonna come back in and Kess has been indoctrinated into the shit, group. We're gonna have to fight Kess later because he's gonna become like part of the cult. Alright. Uh just curious. I know uh Bobby is probably the one with the hardest uh out here. Uh, as far as like when we need to end, but it is getting late. It's like one thirty now, almost one thirty for us here in the south. Yeah, um, and Hunter probably well. has work tomorrow. Do I you? always have work. What time do you have? Okay, so what time do we have to end for you? My work. I don't go to work until four thirty. <laughs> okay, wow, I just want to make sure like I'm not stepping on any toes here, and I, and we can quite literally. This. I went to bed later than this last night. Okay. Um. I gotta write this down. Campfire guy. I gotta create a character for this guy. Campfire guy. Campfire song song. Because <clears throat> that was great. Like Who's, I know what's he the guy's name from Total set Drama it up for me, but this guy has to come back later. Wait, who who's, what? The, who's the campfire guy? The guy yeah, that yeah. uh Kess talked to earlier who sent uh him and Pane to go become recruits. <laughs> Yeah. Walrus, you said campfire song song that came on my Pandora earlier. Nice. Um, In your Pandora? I, have that. I was listening to Pandora. I just want to say, I'm going to take a step song back song. real quick. Uh, uh huh. Come out. You people. What? <laughs> you get, here he goes, fucking I, you people. I again. always thought it was funny the whole, like, um, like, here's a dungeon master who has a, a plan, right? And, like, this is how the game's going to go. I have another... And and within the module, too, like, derailing you people. It is insane how easily 
a very simple thing is derailed and you do it every fucking time every time i think the only time you didn't derail everything was when you over railed when we were doing the missions in greenest and you were like now nah, we're doing all of them even though i know i said i wanted to do all of them but like you all were like now nah, we're doing all of them and, and then we didn't do all of them <laughs> Well, you did every one that was presented, pretty much. We didn't capture uh, Except for them. one. You didn't do one of them that was presented. We didn't find the cat. No, the cat was in we the room. We did find the cat. The cat was in the yeah. room. It turns out the cat was, like, hang just hiding in the room or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I wasn't paying attention then. Neither was I when that all happened. Yeah, that was just place. a random... I didn't remember it the next that time. Was that, just because I, that was just because I said I found a missing cat poster. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, you all. Yeah. No, you can't play. Like, I, I can't don't care if you have until, a module in front I of you can't or not. Wait until this is over, like this chapter, so I can go back and just like. Just how many fucking pages you. did you have to skip or burn because we weren't doing them? See, no, I feel like even, this is not even that. It's. How much simpler this was supposed to be. I feel like this is where homebrew campaigns come or become like easier. Or really become easier because with homebrew campaigns, like with the modules, everything is laid out very strictly. It's not feel, though. Well, it not is strictly, not very but like strictly. it is not, very sorry. open to like letting me bend the rules. I didn't mean like, but that, but I meant like it was like point A, point B, point C. Like, this is how the th general law or general story of this nope. is supposed to go. I mean, no, the just, way modules there's... work is they give you base characters and everything. Really? And there's oh. an end goal, and, like, it tells you, it gives you win conditions in the back of the book, but it's uh, not yeah, like it's just But it, it like, it gives me an, uh, I'll just say, like, one of the words in this was, um, uh, like... When you all spent 20 minutes at the beginning of the stream deciding what to do, uh, after I had thought I told you very clearly, you can just walk in. Um, you might have. You weren't. No, listening. he did definitely say it like three times. That's why I kept. Oh, it was a lot more than three. That that's why I mentioned multiple times that we could just probably walk in and hey, ask. Was anyone? If... Let's let's be honest. Was anyone listening to him? Yes. And... Me. Oh shit. Uh, you saying amazing. stuff? I, I wasn't paying attention. I was but actually yeah, having a conversation was, with my wife. But like, oh man. That's this is really cool. making me want to make a homebrew it's, campaign, though. It's fun. Homebrew it's, is fun. You should. It is, you just have to... And another There's a thing lot more homebrew, to it, too. A lot of homebrew, like, from what I've seen in, like, podcasts and stuff, it really, it seems like a lot of homebrew is built as the characters play instead of like mm -hmm. something like a campaign where it's like mm -hmm. this it, like there's an end condition or like an end game to the so campaign with a with a homebrew the way you the way i understand you build it is you have a start and you have an end and then you've got maybe and even then half the time i feel like the end isn't what the end, or it doesn't end up being the same as what you decide what you want the end well, to not, be. Not as a, but as no. a general rule, yeah. the end is the end. Like, that's what you're like, pushing your character I want towards. the start to be this, but I want the end to have something to do with a war. And then you have, you have very vague ideas for the middle. So you have, like, depending on how long you want your campaign to go, you have... I feel like most uh, of Anywhere, the like, you have, like, five or ten or twenty things that you want to happen in the story so you you have these ideas but you don't you don't build a structure around it because you don't know when is going to be the best time to have this thing happen i feel like like what you want you want to do is you definitely want to build the world before the campaign mm -hmm. starts or well, at that, least for the most worlds. part or at least for worlds. The, well borrow 
Yeah, so like D and D oh. has a vast amount of worlds pre-built for you. Oh no, I, the thing I've been designing, I've room. been straight up designing my own world. I, so and, I mean that, no. that works too. You but say I'm yes saying, instead. Like, yeah, for my can, campaign like, that I'm playing or that I have like the basics for, it's basically like sort of a Wind Waker esque would... ocean world. I would love to be a player in your story whenever you do it, by the way. I will. If you're going to do it, like, it's, online. It's great because I've had this idea for longer than I've known, like, the, you all. And so, yeah. I, for the longest time, I had issues of, like, who the hell is going to play this thing besides Sean? Oh, I meant to uh, tell Tyler. Tink. Um, I don't, you I ruined don't, D&D for Yeah, no, you did tell me, actually. Um, okay. I don't. I don't mean to speed this along, but Bobbert's got stuff to do in the morning, and he's back. The rest of us can stay. Oh, I didn't know he got back already. Place. I've been waiting. Oh, yeah. No, I answered earlier. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I must. I must have missed it. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we can. We can talk more about everything else later. But we got to. We're yep. bad at this. I mean, it. It. We. It. This is a fine enough point to stop. If we want to stop now, um, it is essentially the end of this book but it's going to take probably another hour to finish this chapter uh on the by the way you guys play um, <laughs> I mean, you, we like to do things methodical i know and i then know it's partially my shit. fault no it is a 80 it's an 80 20 split this is yeah. There's not really much that's your fault here. This is us just overthinking absolutely everything. Every We're fucking over, thing. We over. I don't like, know. I've, I'm gonna take a step back here, like I did earlier. I don't know how many fucking times I had to tell you. They don't care what the fuck you look like. Walk in. They don't care what we do to the prisoners either. And I sit there trying to figure out how to not kill the one I just. I want to know in. how yeah. much of this campaign is Wigan going like just giving things to us all because he wants us all to continue. 80% of this campaign is some, like some staring it, at the book going, you got to be I, fucking kidding I'll, me. I'll switch. It's it's definitely 70-30. Um cuz some of it is definitely me like misreading stuff or um like not giving you the proper direction like when when Bobby was asking for que asking questions earlier, I could have very easily just in like I was like breadcrumbing it, and I could have easily just been info dump, because or it, like a better info dump to give him the answers he was looking for to also push him in the right direction. Which I thought I was when he asked like what's next, and I was like ah nobody knows, bruh. And then he went hey what's next? Hey what's next? Hey what's next? And I was like I love. Did I get in character it is for you, and I, I, I feel bad like discussing this because we're just ending the the session now. But as like a fresh GM DM, um, some of that stuff was like like just dealing with those things, just discussing my, I don't know, my shortcomings. I mean, uh, you're doing fine. No, We're not I'm making not. it easier no, on you. No, no actually, are you serious? You're doing it okay. You're, no, you're doing, doing fine, bud. No, I'm not. I mean, and you, you understand how Burns quiet because he knows. I wouldn't <laughs> have known it was your first campaign. Uh, no, I'm quiet because a lot of people talk. Yeah, I understand that too. Uh, um, which is very counterintuitive to what I was using you for at the beginning of this whole campaign. Yeah. But... I love whenever a guard comes up or a guard gives us information that cl they clearly would never be giving a normal person. Well, you're not a normal person. Well, what I mean we're is just like... My dude. We're cell swords. It just seems like you ask like three people and then the fourth person's like, I know all of this information. Well, the... And I love that I because mean, my mind is like, this is a I don't want to give too much information away because you're not actually out of this chapter yet and you're probably going to be coming back to a lot of this. Um... But there were several people that you just had to ask the right question, and they would have given you a ton of not. information. I loved when they kept yeah. asking where they were going next. When I and I was trying to figure out the entire time, when did we ever want to know this? Well, I get, I get why he wanted to know because I know is I mean I get why like, we wanted to as well. What's their plan? 
it is part of what's their plan, right? Like, why did they attack Greenest? Part of getting that information is like, well, if you find out where they're going next, it might give you more information. Um, also, he just wants to know because that's his character. Like, he wants to be able to try and okay. save those people or whatever. You um, should give the person whose character has a chance to talk, you greedy bitches. What do you say, Mumble? So why don't you give the person whose <laughs> character has a chance to talk, you greedy bitches? <laughs> what did you say, Mumbles? Yes, Kess? Uh, why were you asking? No, I was just going to say my rationale was, I like, <clears throat> if the governor or whoever, the mayor, like, if they didn't divulge to us that, like, something was taken or, like, something mm -hmm. like that, like, if there was... Basically, we would have known if it was a target due to, like, strategy or, like, an artifact right. or something. Because, mm -hmm. to me, that is just, like... They, they attacked it because they could. Like, I kind of figured that going in. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. my whole deal was, like, I'd, I'd rather just know, like, if anyone has an idea where they're going next. Right. So you knew the answer already, so you were trying to get extra information. Okay. Yeah. I, get I, did, I didn't gather that from... Well, I... I didn't know that answer. That was my assumption. So that right. was next priority. Right. That I, yeah, was... It was, that's what I meant. Like, yeah. yeah. And I, if I had Sean. gathered what? that a little better, maybe I would have uh, guided you better with answers. That's where I feel like I was lacking as a, as a DM in general is that I'm not I mean, pointing you guys in the right direction sure. as easily, even though at the very beginning about 12 times i said you can just walk in that's yeah. the that's the best and then you all it. spent 20 minutes deciding whether or not you should disguise someone so <laughs> that there would essentially be a fucking ticking time bomb while you're in the middle of the fucking camp look mm -hmm. that's the best part about being so i gave you learn. the most leeway ever to let you him will, time out. Oh, shut up. You will learn. <laughs> he should have timed out before you got halfway through the camp. You'll learn, you'll learn what information <laughs> to give us and what information not to give us. And we're still going to fuck you up. Because we're going to go, mm, I, I don't trust it. Anyway. Um, I've made a pattern. There's unscrupulous shady characters. Also, uh, there's a little bit of stuff that ye, some of you, I guess, need to, like, as a group, uh the out of character conversations and like discussing what spells you can use to do whatever like when your characters aren't next to each other type of thing that could use some work um yeah the do you have an example uh yeah when y'all were when oh, fuck what was it when i i know you said you did it on accident but when you pointed out your like hidden step ability, uh, or, it's a turn invisible thing. Yeah, uh, that, and then just in general, like when like I was dealing with one of your groups, uh, the other group would chime in with stuff, and I know most of it was jokes, but some of it was wasn't. Like it was, like oh, oh you know, if you just did this type of conversation, um. Not that I think any of you really took most of what was said to heart or, like, even into your characters, but just in general. I get joking about, like, some stuff, but also, uh... I have to watch back, because I don't remember doing that. I mean, I'm sure we did, but... Yeah, it, I mean, I... It's hard to point out exactly what it was, but I noticed it, like... I remember sitting there, like, I know a couple of times I went, Ah, well, like, you're in the other group. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell this person anything like that. And again, it, most of it was jokes, but also some of it was... And I, I don't think it, it affected anything, but just in general, like, going forward. Sure, when we're split up, keep the... Right, if, yeah, if you're split up, or even, like, when you're together, if you're talking to each other... I mean, uh, if it makes it simpler, if we're split up, we can mute you're out the of character you're and discussing strategy out of character, it kind of breaks the 
Well, look, I mean, there's a simple fix to that. If, when we're split up like that, we can just mute the group that's not currently talking. Or drag you all into separate groups. I mean, yeah, if we, set, in, if we do chat. separate groups like that, though, that still gives us a chance to, to talk out of character. Well, the other, you, you two can just chit-chat, you know, whatever, but you won't be able to affect the the group you don't, you're not next to. That's fair. Right? Yeah. So, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not that when you all were separated, you were discussing what you were going to do next. Because I kind of get that, but it was like somebody who was, like, for instance, when I was dealing with you all in the, the hut or whatever, uh, either Glenn or Hunter would pipe up about something, or the other way around. And most of the time it was nothing. They were just jokes. But sometimes I got the feeling like, oh, well, that might be pointed or it might be leading or, you know, you might oh, be throwing something. The only thing I remember talking about was him shoveling shit. No. It, there, I, and it, it might be just me, like, overreacting to stuff that was said, but it felt like I mean, I there were it. some things said that felt like they could be misconstrued or, like, used as whatever, like, conversation bits between players that weren't with each other type of thing. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, yeah no, it, it's just, and it wasn't a lot, and it, like I said, it wasn't, I don't think, I honestly don't think it affected anything. Um, except, you know, no, yeah, I don't think it affected anything. The only thing that affected anything is you all's incompetence. Are you um, trying to write fuck on the screen? Maybe. What? Where? <laughs> Where am I missing this? You Where are you drawing? Watching, you were not watching the game board this entire time. Basically, when you were having that heartfelt conversation about how you'd like oh. us to not meta game and stuff, somebody was yeah, yeah, off that's the word meta game. game. That's the word yeah. meta game. Yeah, try not yeah. to meta game as much because it definitely happened a good bit. Not that mm -hmm. I think it it was to your advantage at all. If anything, I think. And that might be where my frustration was, was that if you yeah. weren't metagaming a little bit, you might have finished this chapter. It's going to be to our detriment. Um, it's always going to be to our detriment. Don't worry. Also, there was one bit where I got really excited because I was like, oh, man, I've totally got a plan. And then you all went, oh, no, we're going to bury the bodies outside of camp. And I went, what? <laughs> why are you, did you think, did you think Like, I was trying to figure out why they didn't want to bury the bodies that were right next to the, the like, prisoner corpses? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, that's what I thought. When you brought that up, I was like, oh, yeah. Sean, that how makes do you keep like, on Oh, screen. that would be a perfect way to get them away. What? And then you'll be by yourselves, by the corpses, and then, flam. But, no, you wanted to leave the camp altogether. Well, what? How do you keep it on screen? You weren't leaving. You just don't undo it. There we go. Uh, no, anyway. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, I mean, we can work on the metagaming for sure. I'm sorry about that. I didn't even realize. I've been trying to not, but it's always. I guess the other thing is you work get on excited is and you just want to talk about stuff. Um, I know we had an issue with that in uh, our vampire campaign back in the day. We used to metagame a lot. Boy, howdy. Which is why we got foiped and. They kept, uh, yeah, all kinds of cool yeah. stuff. But I mean. Uh, we need we also like the talking over each other we have to like work on that because we do yeah. kind of come barging in there's also like i not get, so much bobby he gets especially with it. me which is why like i know like i'll be like in character discussing something and then be like all right i'm gonna have to break character and just break this down for you what i'm tr like what i'm trying to convey because i know I'm, I'm bad at that uh as far as like just being a character telling you something like, if I'm describing something, and then I'm like, all right, it happens. Like, I, I told you this, but let me, like, tell you what it is. Also, somebody here. Um, uh, Hunter, did I send that at any point, or did you look up That was the map, the the map you used in the la last okay. uh, stream. Okay. I wasn't sure if I if I had ever used it or... Um, but, yeah, you, you all weren't supposed to have a map of it. But yeah, that was the the map of the the camp. Because I remember pointing out specifically, can I climb these cliff walls? Yes, That's you true. could have. 
And then we had that whole thing of me trying to climb the cliff walls, finding nothing, and then having to go back down the walls because there was absolutely no point to me going up there. Did we actually, like... Go... I guess... I don't know. I don't remember exactly how close y'all were to the... the plateau last time. That's my bad for all that. Um, but yeah, there was... If I... I don't know. I messed up then. My bad. Because you could have absolutely just... Actually, I don't know about climbing it from the outside. I know you can climb it on the inside. For sure. It'd probably be a lot of athletics. To... Yeah. I know in the book it tells you that uh, it's not difficult to climb to scale some of the walls. It, it does specify which ones, though. Um, but that if you're in a rush, it needs an athletic check. But yeah, there was nothing up there, though. Like, there is nothing on top of the plateau, so I was right about all that. Um, I mean, there might be a oh. furbolg if you keep looking, Hunter. Oh. Anyway, By the way, um, Wigan, I yep. just, because you, may, you brought up something that I wanted to test out. You know, you, you asked if I looked it up. I right now, I just looked up Horde of the Dragon Queen PDF. Apparently, there's an entire PDF of it online. Well, yeah, it's a book. Well, I know what I meant was it just exists. You didn't. You don't have to buy anything. I, I thought I assumed uh, uh, D and D Beyond or whatever, whoever, Wizards of the Coast kept a sort of lockdown on that sort of thing. No, right? You can yeah. buy anything. What are you talking about? Yeah, some about? third party definitely put that out there. Yeah, that's not legal. It's definitely a pirated copy of the book or whatever. But yeah. Um, no, I, I bought it. I bought the book because I was when I bought it, I was going to be doing an in-person D and D session like a year ago with my wife and her friends, and, and I then was you DM it. And then you met. And then the me worldwide house arrest happened. No, actually, no. It, it was actually before that. It was about a year before <laughs> that, or maybe a couple months before that. Um, and then you met uh, people that don't live in the same place as you. No, cat. Uh, people are bitches and assholes, and they ended up. Uh, Ellie was going in for a promotion, and um, one of the reasons she didn't get it was apparently because she was either too nice or too like she was too clicky or something. It, it was weird. Anyway, it ended up shitting on the entire D and D thing because some of the people that were going to be in it ended up being like assholes to each other, and cat fight kind of shit happened and it wasn't pleasant and then now i had a fucking uh 30 dollar book that sat around for no reason until we started this. Paperweight. but yeah um, it's been stuff. fun so far i'm enjoying it i'm also not enjoying it but you know Stressful. <laughs> sean still has the dungeon of the mad mage Yes, but that, because of the nature of the book, is not something I can just theater of the mind. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Because it's just literally just like battle 20 after battle. plus levels of dungeon crawling. Which would be a nightmare to do without any kind of visual indication of where everything can you, is. Wigan, can you put any image on the screen that you have? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, Sean. Find a PDF for Dungeon of the Mad Mage and meticulously screenshot every map. Bold of you well, to I'm assume sure I haven't if you already just done Googled, that. Yeah, I'm sure if you just Googled like, Dungeon of the Mad Mage and like look for each chapter it would yeah. have the dungeons and whatnot pre-made. Yeah, because that's what I did for this one. That's why, at the beginning of this, why we had those maps that I had was because I just Googled it. Um, but yeah, uh, we can let the people go to sleep that need to go to sleep. We'll be done here. We'll pick up. Uh, you all got together. Um, and you all are essentially waiting, just kind of like laying low and waiting for night. Um
so that uh, you all can plan whatever it is you're going to plan. Feel free to discuss it amongst yourselves as to what you want to plan. You've got hours to do it, so if you all want to discuss out of game or anything like that, that's fine with me just because you you literally have hours to plan. You're just sitting around shooting this shit with a bunch of other people. Um, we'll pick up uh, in two weeks with what will probably be about an hour of finishing this chapter. You all will hit level three, and then we'll start the next chapter. Oh, sweet. I've already been looking at what college I'm going to do for Bard. Is it the College of Linnerhold? fucking idiot. Hey, I'm not. My character what is. What are you majoring in? Eh, uh, major. Eloquence. Oh, by the way, Tank, I already... Yeah. Uh, for everyone, I know I mentioned this at the start. I'm looking into getting each of you a a magic weapon. Burn, I'll get you a legitimate one at some okay. point. Sure. Did you uh, mention this Sean at the start? I don't think I was here for too. this. You might not have been here. Oh, uh, no, boy. Fern's magic weapon is more of a joke than anything. Sean, and what it's was only it? a joke that me and Tink get. And I'm upset that I didn't utilize it at all. But you weren't holding it, so I felt like it wasn't. Sean, did uh, you have a pun weapon at any point? No, 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 no. My puns were the weapon. Uh, Anyways. Yeah. Uh, I will give a tease because it's, it's perfect. Uh, Tink, Glenn... Yep. Uh, herbal. Yeah. Your fucking weapon's gonna be a microphone, but not quite. Yeah, what's um, damn well better be? Yeah, it's gonna be great. It makes perfect like, sense. Like, is it gonna be based on one of the actual legendary bard weapons? Because those are. I a have thing. no idea. I kind of came up with it myself. Okay, because there are like six bardic instruments that are scattered around the world. Yeah, I don't know if it is, but uh. It's a microphone. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know what to do for you, uh, Monk Man. So there is a... Um, there is a weapon you can give him. I, I've used it before. You can modify it a little bit. I'll talk to you. I can talk to you about that later. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't, don't want to to give it away too much. And I haven't even looked into yours yet, Sean. Uh, but I... Dude, don't idea. worry about me. Honestly. No, you need... I want everyone to have a magic weapon. And yours will be... It'll be... Sean, this isn't about you. This is character. about his desire for magic weapons. Oh. Well, it's just for everyone to have something neat and kind of a joke as well. Um, I mean, to be fair, uh, one of... Uh, when I did try to do the uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, I was a little bit uh, forthcoming with the magical items. Mm -hmm. I gave someone a Quiver of Storms. Uh, mm -hmm. One dude, uh, he was a piece of shit. Uh, he managed to, with his character, come with Bobby, a Feel Deckerman free to bounce thing. whenever you need to, if you're even still here. Uh, I don't have anything. I mean... We're going on okay. vacation tomorrow for the weekend, but oh, oh that's nice. nice. Okay. Well, I was just nice. I, I just didn't want to keep anyone longer than they need to be. So yeah, we can just shoot the shit for a bit. Yeah. That's what I plan to do. Um, which I guess I don't know, man. <laughs> oh yeah, the ring of the grammarian. So, uh, but the um... there it is. That's what I was looking for. I'll be right back. Yeah, the ring of the grammarian so, like... is a cool ma magic item. Oh yeah, no, so, yeah, me and Matthew the, uh... have actively realized that if you just have ten rings of the Grammarian, you can just cast anything. Yeah, but I have a I have a really good idea for, and I'll look at what you're sending me, Tank, in a second, but I have a really good idea for what I'm going to do for... How did you know I was sending you something? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have notifications you on? Is that brief? Brief? <laughs> I just, I just I sent just you said... one message just now. Oh, okay. Well, I got two. That was not me. Oh, so. <laughs> burn. I mean, three. No, that's just the link to the bardic instruments. You have three notifications, actually. Yeah. Um. But uh, what ended up happening was the guy with the deck of many things kept drawing the card that said, "Uh, the DM can choose any magical weapon of rare or higher." 
once again, of the DM's discretion, and give it to the player. The deck of many things that I, we didn't want. I gave him three plus one daggers that allowed him to cast uh, uh, Vicious Mockery, essentially. Uh, the name of the weapon was Clown's Cutter. It was sentient. It could talk. After the third one, he was like, okay, the first two, the first one was great. The second one was meh. I, I, I might have questioned it a little bit. But three is a bit much. He was yeah. very insistent about that deck of many things. Yeah. From now on, if we do end up doing the deck of many things, it's going to be a hard once per day. And I will be a dick about any of the shit you get. Okay, yeah. Tink gets none of those. Yeah, no, I figured. I just remembered that there were some. Um. No, it like, it's, it's gonna be a scepter, right? This is a microphone. Like, mechanically speaking, it's gonna be a scepter. It legitimately needs to have, like, with, regardless of what else there is, it needs to have the cantrip thaumaturgy on it so that I can boom out my voice. Speaking of booming out your voice. What, am I loud? No. Uh, okay, but hear me out. Out of, out of character, out of game completely. Forget I'm about to tell you this. It's, oh. it's gonna have Thunder Wave. Um, Wigan, I'm gonna cast. send you a, I'm sending you an image. Yep. That I have an idea for what the what the, the staff could look like. I don't want to give you a staff. You're not supposed the to be staff. unarmed. I'm, not the staff. I mean, whatever you give a tink. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's legit going to be like an onyx like rock with a silver ball on top. Uh, I was hoping it would look like one of these or like no, that. Not quite that. No, it's going to be a, it's going to be a one handed thing. Not a staff. It'll be a scepter uh, for sure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do go with one of those. That would be. Oh no! Wait, you know I got a better version of it. Yeah. I got a better okay. version. We'll see, because it's gonna everything I'm saying, talking about is gonna be tweaked. Ooh. No, but his character's not hot enough to pull that off, dude. Not hot enough. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, you're comparing yourself to Freddie Mercury here. You. For real. <laughs> oh no, that's fair. <laughs> Chill. This is what I'm gonna post it in the D and D or the chat. Every, everything I everything I'm talking about right now is. Uh, I was suggesting the, so the don't staff. expect the exactly what I'm talking about because I'm gonna have to modify stuff. And if I give you something, uh, mm. and I decide it's overpowered, it's expect it to be modified to balance. So. Um. Yeah, that's not as cool as I look. Sorry. I mean, that's way cooler than I look. Yeah, I was no, suggesting like, your scepter look like that microphone. The the <laughs> the idea is it's going it's literally going to be like a a piece of onyx with like uh, a a shiny ball on the end. Um, it's just gonna look like a microphone. Can you give him a bullhorn? What? No. A bullhorn. Or, uh, no, not a bullhorn. Uh, what, the megaphone. No, I'm not giving him a megaphone. It'll have very much a similar effect to a megaphone, but no, it's going to be a microphone. Because he's a stand-up comedian, so he's just going to have a microphone. But, uh, yeah, Hunter, I would definitely... Definitely the way it looks will just be that, for sure. But, Hunter, for your uh, boat deal, I would definitely heavily advise just trying to think up some encounters and stuff. For the my, the campaign? Yeah. Oh, no, I have, like, the... F okay, so I already have, like, the first little bit of it thought out. Because, obviously, after the first bit, it's going to derail. I get it, and... because when you stop thinking about it, you're putting it on ice. I don't know Jesus what the pun with that is, but um, uh, but thawed out, thawed out, thawed out. out. God damn it! But uh, <laughs> I have the first bit thought out, um, and uh, but obviously after that things are going to go off the rails. So I'm not really planning that much. But most of my planning at the moment is thinking of 
cities, islands, characters, and stuff like that, instead of, or in, like, events that could be, or that would happen in the game, or in the campa campaign, instead of specific routes that I want the people to take, because I might. obviously that's not going to last very long. <clears throat> So, I might just try to yeah. figure out how to make Stibble's Codex of, Compan of Companions into an actual, like, Pokemon storyline. <clears throat> didn't we? Didn't you have the idea for the Pokemon Stibble, Stibble, Stibble's po Codex thing? The mis Mystery Dungeon deal? Oh, no. I, th I remember us mentioning something about how, how Stibble, uh, the Codex could... I don't know how to pronounce the dude's name. Um, could be used as like a Pokemon type thing. You had I you, guess. you were going to do like a poke uh Pokemon camp D and D campaign at some point. I remember that. Yeah, uh, I've, I've seen Oh my god, sorry. It's gonna take me a minute to talk. Take your time. What did you drink? Uh, I wish I knew It was a lot. Yeah, basically. It was one of those like the mixer's way off, and it's hot. Fuck. And my throat's already, like, tickly, and I need to cough, but I'm sure if I cough, it's gonna be more than a cough. Oh, got something to drink over here that's not that. Let me drink this. But, uh, as far as the Poké D&D &D thing went, I, like, kind of playtested it a little bit with Matt and Dakota, but... <clears throat> It mostly just boiled down to Matthew being in the back spouting fire at everything while Dakota was like, Haha, after six re-rolls, because I refuse to be anything but a turtle, I will be immune to all physical damage. <clears throat> I did not balance I have an idea, well. Wigan, I have an idea for a, a bard weapon if you ever do a homebrew thing. I I'll be, yeah. I will probably use this in a homebrew thing at some point if I want to. Fucking Listen. Ricardo's guitar from Shadow Hearts. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's literally a guitar that just turns into a gun. And I I don't know why, but I fucking love it. Keep forgetting that guns are a weapon in D and D. I think I would like a barb weapon that's actually a penny whistle. Or a recorder. <clears throat> Well, I think I'm about to go. That's fair. Sounds like a plan. So am I. All right.